the ocean. Aww, so cute. Look at the little guy. Aww, so adorable. My wife left me. Oh Holy my god. Holy crap. So scary. Got the kids too. I'm stuck in the middle of this infinite ocean with nothing but a fishing rod and this stinky raft. And I'm going to be surviving the next 100 days here. I transformed this pathetic bundle of sticks into an epic floating raft city, complete with a massive ship, villager trading hall, aquarium, and much more. I also conquered the sea by defeating five enemy ships with all these dangerous mobs aboard, including evokers and illusioners. Also, skeleton horses are craftable, so I mix them. Just make sure to watch to the end of the movie so you don't miss anything. And if you go on to enjoy the movie, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so it would help me out a ton. But without further ado, sit back, relax, and go get your snacks, because I survived 100 days on a raft in Minecraft Hardcore, and here's what happened. Alright, here we are in the middle of an infinite ocean, and all we got is some stinky little fireplaces here. Oh. Okay, it's just falling from the sky. That's nice. Already got some goodies. Okay, go under me. Sure. Also, just swim to get them. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think those things are friendly, so I think we're good. Well, anyhow, let's see what's in this barrel. Oh, that's actually uh, pretty good. Okay, I have three goals for these 100 days. One, transform our raft into something epic. Two, get villagers in a villager trading hall. And three, conquer five ships. There's some leaves. All right, maybe we'll just sap no, we did not. That doesn't look very good, but I'll just ignore that for now. Main thing we need right now is saplings. But I guess I guess we have enough wood to make a crafting table. First crafting table of raft. But uh, I can't really do anything with this because I can't craft anything. <laughs> Something spawn, please. Any day now. Oh, oh, that's a barrel too. Oh my god, I got it. Did I actually just lose it? Whenever they go under me, they just disappear. It literally just evaporated. Where is it? Oh my god, it's Nemo. Oh wait, there's another one. Nothing. Nice. Uh, something. Nice. Nine string. Jeez. Almost enough to make a bed. Oh, is it broken? It's literally broken. Whenever I pick them from too far away, they just go under the raft and disappear. Is that another one? Oh, another barrel. Nice. Disco oh, shh. Shoot. Uh, oops. Do not touch them. That doesn't look, uh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> Don't go over there. Oh, iron ore. Nice. Actually, wait. <laughs> nice. Bed on day one. Wow. Beautiful morning of day two. I began day two by enlarging our raft. Uh, not that much, though. Oh, wait, I got a sapling. Acacia. Of course, acacia is the first thing I get. And then began placing some of the dirt we've gotten so far so we can farm the green and sell it to miners because it's legal now. Wait. Wait, what? Now I can make our first pickaxe of the world. Yeah, I know how to craft. I'm gonna move this down a little bit. I guess our first tree is a acacia sapling. All right, some string. I do need some wood though, so I would like for this tree to grow. Okay, I do not need this much string, bro. I need, I need wood or saplings. Okay, barrel, nice. And no saplings, but puffer fish, that's cool. Oh, but another barrel. Barrel, barreling into my base. Ha <laughs> ha. Yo, two saplings that you need four of to use. Nice. Yes, let's go. Sapling. And uh, yeah, I know that our base looks beautiful. Oh, yeah, I know our base looks beautiful. You don't need to compliment me, please. Please stop. You'll blow up my ego. Then I continued fishing up profits and waiting for our trees to grow. Yo, there's a whale shark right there. Oh, uh, looks like your face is missing there, buddy. All right, a leaf. Some more bit. Oh, two more barrels. We're just drowning in profits, aren't we? Actually, iron. I have iron, and I have coal, and I have enough cobblestone for a freaking furnace. Why do I have so much coal? A stack of coal? Where did I get that from? I guess I'll use my stack of coal to cook up some iron. I thought you guys were profits. Get the frick away. You know what? Let's take a let's take a look at this sunset. Let's just appreciate the moment. You know. All right, that's enough. Oh my god, it's a dolphin. Dolphin? There's like sharks everywhere. Will these guys hit me? <laughs> they make... Oh, I'm drowning. Okay. And none of my trees want to grow. All right, now I can make an axe so I can actually break all these barrels that I placed here. Oh. Okay, I won't question. Then I continued expanding out our raft. Again, I didn't really do that much. Cobblestone. Oh, and some string. Just use my skills. Come on, skills. Work. My skills didn't work. Oh, really had to uh, grow while I was testing different shaders. Nice. Now we can finally get some actual wood. Oh, and of course, the uh, oak tree also decided to spawn. Nice. When it rains, it pours. Am I right, guys? Okay. Wait, three barrels? Holy crap. Wait, why did I say that? Doesn't make any sense. What is that? Wait, why is that a challenge? Just got an acacia blossom. Why is there a challenge for getting an acacia blossom? Also want to make some torches so we can light this place up for nighttime. All right, so uh, everything looks kind of disgusting right now. So should probably begin mission, make the base not look like whatever it looks like right now because it looks terrible. All right, day four, lost at sea. I'm very sunburnt. I've turned pink. <laughs> Get it. I began day four by deleting our floating pile of sticks, rocks, and random debris, and building a new, less visually assaulting raft. All right, first iron armor. Wow. So actually, yeah, how about I replace some of these 
barrels with utilities. Oh, that's so smart, Ben. How did you come up with that idea? Beautiful. I also began moving our makeshift farm to an area further away from the main raft, because my vision for this base is a bunch of big rafts floating around the main raft island thing with bridges connecting all of them up and an epic aquarium in the middle. All right, yeah, things look a little bit better already. Let's get a little bed in here. Put it right here. All right, day five. Now, let's start on the farm circle. Already ran out. Oh, and a tree grew. Nice. I don't think I have any more dirt. Oh, I lied. I have a lot more dirt. I ended this newborn tree's short life and made sure to profit off of its corpse. Then I continued placing in the dirt for our farm raft and placed in the saplings, making sure to separate the good ones from the bad ones. Oh, wait, is that racist? I want to try some actual, just normal fishing as well. Let's just, let's see. Let's see what we catch. Wow, this is really entertaining, isn't it? You guys it? having as much fun as I am? Because I sure am. Oh my god. Yes, a jellyfish. Can I make peanut butter and jelly with that? Okay, so apparently the only thing you can do with these is uh, make slime balls out of them, which is actually not, not completely useless. That's kind of cool, actually. I then dove to the depths and began harvesting sand so I could make my raft see-through. Okay, about to die to collecting sand. So I can easily observe the inferior sea life below. I hear something under- Oh, God, what is that? What the heck? Hey, dolphin, did you just take my block? Oh my God, he's playing with the block. What? What is that? That is the stupidest looking acacia tree I've ever seen in my life. Uh, yeah, I also need to light up the base a little bit. So, let's go ahead and do that. Is that a barrel? Oh, yes. The most beautiful tree sapling type in the universe. That was crazy. Literally the exact same time I broke that torch, this group. <laughs> I should make a shield because we are going to go out and... Oh, wait. Uh, I need to plant a spruce sapling, too. I should at least make, like, a stone sword. Get up here, barrel. Come on. Yeah, float up to the surface. Yeah. Oh, obsidian. What? You get obsidian from these? That's epic. All right, the next thing I want to do is cook some sand up. All right, guys, so we've officially survived one week in hardcore Minecraft, but I'm on a raft, and I have no self-esteem. I'm going to replace the floor with glass because glass just looks good, man. I don't know what to tell you. We begin constructing our glass floor out of glass, utilizing glass to construct it, making sure along the way that it is still made out of glass and doesn't spontaneously turn into something that isn't glass. All right, you know, I like it. I really do, but, uh... <laughs> It's a little glitchy around the edges. Yeah, I don't know how, how infuriating that's gonna be, but probably just a bit. I then began expanding the raft more and destroyed our utility and storage cube in favor of putting them on the edges of the center raft. And I moved all of our items into the new barrel locations, making sure to organize everything along the way so we know where everything is and don't have to waste tons of time searching for items for the rest of the challenge. All right, and we are going to set out pretty soon, so I'm gonna build out a little bit of a dock. Then I finished the glass floor and moving all of our utilities to the edge of the raft and decided to add in these leaves because they look good yeah all right it's looking good got a little cozy little setup going i like this boom our jellyfish is now a slime ball and we can make a lead i want to put a little boat here and huh? okay well i guess we didn't need a lead <laughs> oops oh uh, this also acts as a, a fishing dock I'll do some actual normal fishing see if we catch anything else another jellyfish jeez man bro is it broken you, do you get anything other than jellyfish Bruh. Okay, okay, I guess you get nothing other than jellyfish from fishing. Also, I forgot to mention this. Sitting. You can sit. Also, I noticed how it gives me one horse heart when I sit. That's funny. I then began unaliving more innocent trees for profits and made sure to replant the saplings so I could do the same to the next generation. Epic, our first spruce tree. The next thing I want to do is set sail and explore the surrounding areas, but before I do that, I want to set up a little bit of a farm. I think I'm gonna just split this in half. Oh, it doesn't even fill in. What the heck? Well, I guess it's gonna be covered up so it doesn't really matter. I just have the tree farm on one side and a crop farm type thing on this other side. So I planted the tree fetuses and then tilled the crop half of the farm raft, so I could put in our carrots and potatoes. And some beetroot. You can't even plant the beetroot. Oh, wait, you turn it into seeds. It doesn't even turn to seeds, it turns into red yeah. dye, okay? That's our farm circle for now. It'll get well, it'll get better, okay? Don't worry All about right, it. Next, I want to kind of figure out a way to get to the mines. So, I guess I'll just put it over here. So, I built out a bridge that will eventually lead to our house, and built a tunnel to the bottom of the ocean out of wood. Ooh, there's iron. Nice. Then drained it by placing and destroying cobblestone. And then this happened. Oh, God. Okay. So I added wood to all of the corners so that doesn't happen again. Then I added in some ladders, and now we're ready to excavate the planet's crusts for all it's Ooh, worth. some iron. Our first profits of the mine. Nice. Alright, we're not gonna really mine in here for now, but we will come down here later. Holy crap. <laughs> I'll make some more armor. That feels like a good idea. Make a pickaxe. And I think I want a sword. And a shovel. Go ahead, make a bow. And I don't think I have anything to make arrows. Yeah, I don't have anything to make arrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and set sail. Goodbye, base. 
Oh, that's uh, that's amazing. I love how fish just fall from the sky. So I continued sailing into the infinite ocean with the goal of becoming king of the pirates. Wait, no, I mean with the goal of finding at least one enemy ship and hopefully also some shipwrecks and friendly ships as well so we can rob them. Oh my god, land? What the heck? This is supposed to be an infinite ocean. What are you doing here? Oh, 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 there's stuff. All right, we got a wandering piece of garbage. Uh, well, this is pretty cool. This is our first villager. Jeez, I don't want to know what's going to happen at night. She looks pretty cool at night, though. Yeah, so I actually just went back to the base on the night of day 10 because I needed to be at the base for this bit. We've officially survived 10% of the challenge, and we've made a decent bit of progress so far, but there's still a whole lot left to do. So on the morning of day 11, I set sail again with my sights set on setting my sight on an enemy ship. I mean, ship. Wait, what? That's sugarcane. Did not expect to find that. Oh. Ow. What was that? Uh oh, it's just some driftwood. But, uh, I'll take some of this. I mean, I don't know, it's building blocks. This is really shallow. It's barely even an ocean. Well, there's one. That's not a ship, though. That's just... Oh, yes! There's a ship! I don't think it's one of the hostile ones, though. Oh, god. Ow. There's nothing on this raft, though, other than some wool. Uh oh, is anyone aboard? Uh, no, it's completely empty. Ooh, but we did get some nice goodies. Ooh, and feathers. We need that. We need that for arrows and stuff. Oh, there's three chests. What? A golden apple? Holy crap, dude. This is epic. Nice. We got a bunch of iron. We can make more armor. I'm actually gonna take this jungle wood because I'm gonna need some more wood. So this ship doesn't actually count as uh, one of the ships that we're conquering. Oh wait, oh there's another. Oh that's a shipwreck I think. Another villager. Nice. Go ahead and check what's in here. Nice. Oh it's just a normal map. It's not even a treasure map. Okay. Uh, a bunch of poisonous potatoes. How wonderful. Mending leather boots. Oh god I'm dying. Oh god. Okay. Stupid Ben. Go ahead and- No, my potatoes! Come back. How common are these stupid raft things? More raining fish. Beautiful. Another useless, stinky raft. Oh, there we go. That's actually- Do those have chests? Oh, they do! Yes, a chest. Uh, apples? Oh, another wandering sailor. Crimson mosquito- What the heck? I'm good, bro. Ah! Stupid freaking fish, dude. Oh, well, better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, some apples for me. I'll come back for you, bro. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. Oh! Oh! I think that's one of them. Let's see if we see any enemies aboard. Huh? I don't see anything. There's no one here. There's literally no one here. What the heck? This has a mast and everything. Well, we still haven't found an enemy ship, so on we trek. Reveal yourself to me. Ship. Oh, that's a shipwreck. Oh, I just dropped my sword. That was really smart. That's a big shipwreck. What the heck? More paper and carrots. Oh, that. <laughs> see that? That right there is what we're trying to find. Yeah, I see some enemies aboard. All right, I don't know how close I want to get. This looks like an abandoned ship, but this is our first ship find. Only 5,000 blocks out from the base. I don't know if I want to take them on. I don't really have anything. I will mark the coordinates for sure. Okay, so OBS decided that it was in a bit of a wacky, goofy mood and decided to break and not record the rest of day 13 or any of day 14. So here's a reenactment of what happened on day 13 and 14. I basically immediately ran into another ship, and this was an active ship with pillagers and evokers aboard. I took a screenshot and then continued sailing, and again, almost immediately found another ship. And this one was cool because it looked friendly at first, and then when I got close, it turned into a witch ship. And right next to the witch ship, there was another ship. But this wasn't an enemy ship, it actually had villagers aboard. So I looted it, got one of the villagers in my boat and continued sailing home. And I arrived home on the morning of day 15. But yeah, now we got a few things that we need to do. We need to expand this base, obviously. And I want to build a mob farm. I think I want to build it right here. I think I just want to tower up right here. And I also need more dirt so that I can actually finish this thing. I needed a ton more wood so we can make ladders and trap doors for the farm. So I began ending this generation of trees the same way the last one ended, by benefiting me. And then I headed down to the mines to begin excavating the planet's crust for profits. We're going to need a poop ton of cobblestone for the farm. Oh, gravel, we need that. Finally get some flint and make some arrows. We also need more general resources like iron, coal, flint for arrows, and dirt to finish the farmer. And I got 13 flint. And I would love to find some diamonds as well so we can get some diamond tools. And dirt. Never thought I'd be mining for dirt, but I am. Iron, let's go. Ooh, coal. I uh, don't think I need any coal. Well, actually, I do need coal for torches. I'm stupid at that. Oh, and you get XP. That's also true. Oh, gold. I need that for something, right? I don't know. For some reason, you need gold, right? Let's go into my pickaxe break. Oh, really had to break while I was mining iron. Yeah. The beautiful morning of day 16. Oh, is that a jellyfish? Yeah. Shut the frick up, bro. All right, so we're gonna actually build the farm circle now, and I wanna build it actually a block up from where it is. My iron shovel's about to break. Oh, and we can also make arrows now. Hey, 52 arrows, nice. All right, bye-bye, old farm. So I began destroying the old farm and deciding how far out I want the new raft to be. And then I began constructing the new farm raft, but then I realized it was too small. So I actually kinda think that's too small. I'm gonna do 16. And I also forgot to make it a block higher. So I destroyed the frame and then made a circle one block higher that was an amount of blocks in diameter. How did I mess it up? Dang it. All right, beautiful. I think it needs to be like four blocks further out, not gonna lie. So I began day 17 by destroying the product of our hard unpaid labor. Oh my god, it's Dory. 
Nope, not gonna be beautiful. So I could rebuild the farm raft a few blocks further out from the center raft. And I decided I liked it, so I began filling it in. We don't really have much wood type to choose from yet, so I might just do oak. Hmm, maybe I'll make some spruce fences. And then I wanna kinda make it look like it's like a rope bridge. So I'm gonna make it like kinda disconnected from it, even though that doesn't really make any sense, but I don't know, it makes it look kinda more like it's a rope and not just a fence to me. I also haven't gotten any bamboo. I'm gonna single bamboo. Come on, bamboo. What the heck, man? All right, so I'm going to make a bit of an outer border out of birch. I don't think I'm gonna finish, though. I don't think I have enough birch. Yeah, maybe I'll have oak going through the middle. That sounds cool. But I want it to kind of, like, curve around. It's kind of like a little river, kind of. An oak river, okay? Jeez. Make a bucket, and with this bucket, we can put in some water source blocks. Maybe I can just do that, yeah, that's cool. So that we can put our farm in here. Because I don't think that the water is gonna like hydrate it from below. I don't really think that that is gonna hydrate that, but uh, you never know. We'll see. Plant some carrots and potatoes. I would like to get wheat in here, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. All right, next, I'm gonna try and expand this little circle area. I was gonna build a mob farm, but <laughs> wait, 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 I'm getting distracted. I need to put trees in there. What am I doing? That looks good. Oh yeah, I need to light this up. That's a good point, son. Thank you for pointing that out. Just gonna build a circle around it to kind of extend the circle. I'm gonna need like more sand and stuff to make glass though. So maybe go over here and build out four blocks. Three, four. All right, let's get to building this circle. So I began building the outline for the new center raft. Ah, oh, scared me. So we can enlarge our raft further, even though size doesn't matter. Right? All right, there we go, there we go. I'm gonna go get some more sand so I can get some more glass so I can expand the glass floor. So hop down here and get some sand. I think this will be the easiest way to get... I don't really know the fastest way to get sand. Nope, my freaking thing broke. Beautiful. All right, uh, let's try a different method for getting sand. Screw all the poisonous things down here. I'll just mine sand like this. I continued mining sand and discovered that I could mine exactly 12 blocks of sand before needing to come up for air. So remember that next time you need to do your taxes. What the heck is that thing? This is uh, mildly disturbing. So I continued mining sand until I felt like I had enough to finish expanding the raft. All right, stacking 36. That's probably good for now. Oh yeah, my trees are growing up. Oh, can a birch tree freaking grow? I need some birch wood to finish this thing. Alright, since birch trees don't want to freaking grow for some reason, I'm gonna place this here temporarily. And this is gonna have to be where we put the mob farm. This is where we're gonna put the mob farm. So I'm just gonna have to build up right here for the mob farm. Also, I'm gonna expand this glass in the middle. I expanded the inferior creature viewer for the rest of day 19. And then on day 20, I continued enlarging our raft to cope with my self-esteem issues. Alright, now let's move everything back. Her is right. Shut the frick up. I want to punch you so bad, but I can't. I don't know. Does that look good? Probably not. Put the crafting table here. That looks better, I think. What? What was that? Bro, so many items are still spawning. I do not need that anymore. And I'll probably place more barrels right here. Yeah, that works. We should have some more leaves to place back for decoration. Where are all of our leaves? What the heck? Oh, there's one right here. It doesn't help. I need more than that. All right, I have some shears. I'll just go shear these trees. Oh, a birch tree grew finally. Thank goodness. So I chopped down all the trees on the farm raft and made sure to collect some leaves as well. Oh, a jungle tree grew. Let's go. Then I used the birch wood I got to place in more of the outline for the raft, but I didn't have enough to finish. Gosh, gosh darn it. It was a barrel under there. Give me that yummy barrel. Need a new place for my bed though. I'll put it here for now. I began day 21 by contemplating life, but more importantly, deciding what to build next and block game for kids. Then I chopped down this jungle tree and decided on raising up this bridge to match the level of the main raft. I broke the old bridge and then began rebuilding in a half block higher. Also gonna need to break down this fence. Okay, why do tools have zero durability? And I began decorating the main raft with some vegetation so we don't feel as broke as we are. And I could officially no longer procrastinate working on the mob farm. So I reorganized my inventory and began getting all the materials we're gonna need for the farm. Oh, I need a bunch of trapdoors. Maybe I'll use jungle because jungle's ugly. Let's make some jungle trapdoors. Oh, another birch tree. Let's go. Boom, bam, bada ba, boom, pow. All right, that's probably enough. I don't know. Need some buckets too for water. Just need two buckets. That's it. Bing bong. Um, I'm gonna take my bed up with me as well. Now it's finally time to start working on the mob farm. Okay. Now I can't get up there. No. Oh my god, this is annoying. Okay. All right, I'm going to just go ahead and take a risk and just build this completely off of memory. So I began work on the farm by towering 100 blocks into the sky so we can get as far away from the inferior creatures below as possible. Also, it'll make the farm more efficient. Hopefully we don't die falling down into the water. I dove 300 feet to the water below and broke all the pixels in my body. All right, 
ladder time. Wait, actually, I want to get all the slabs I need to. Is this literally all the cobblestone I have? What the frick? I'm definitely not going to finish this then if that's all the cobblestone I have. I guess I used most of it making that uh, tower. Oh, well. Let's get to building. And then began adding in the ladders all the way up to the top of the tower. Okay, now. Build a little platform out. So I built a little platform out. Probably a little too not little. Though. I didn't really need to make it this big. All right, that's enough of a platform. Oh, I need to light this up with torches, but I didn't bring any torches because I'm smart. I went back down to the base to get torches. All right, I don't really have even enough cobblestone to start, so I'm just going to go light it up and then go back to mining. All right, just wanted to light this up, so let's jump back down to our deaths. Shut up, Dory. Oh my god, is that bone meal? Give me that. Where'd it go? My bone meal. No, my bone meal disappeared. This is so sad. Then I started harvesting wood for some reason. Oh, there's some bone meal. Let's go. I needed a ton more cobblestone to build the mob farm. All right, let's head down to the mines to get some more cobblestone. Whoa, this is so trippy. So on the morning of day 23, I headed down to the mines to mine. I also wanted to find diamonds so we could finally get some diamond tools. But for some reason, I was only able to find non-useful ores like coal and redstone. So much redstone, bruh. My inventory is already full, bruh. Also, we're in 1.16, which is why I'm not hacking deep plate right now. And honestly, I don't mind pre-1.18 mining. Maybe I'm just nostalgic for it, but I like strip mining and caving is way more efficient after 1.18. Where are the diamonds? I've been mining for 50,000 years. Literally, I'm not exaggerating. Only redstone. I'm mining for some reason. I don't know because I do not need it. But I continued mining and then found this cool ravine. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Actually, we do need lava, so that is actually beautiful. But I kind of wanted diamonds. But I didn't explore it further because I'm a loser. But I did collect some lava, which I was going to use to get obsidian for another portal, but I never did. Then I went back and found some diamonds literally four blocks away from where I started the oh, mine. Oh, you're kidding me, dude. <laughs> this diamond's right here. Oh, my God. Uh, is it only one, though? Okay, it's two. Please be more. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Yes. This is exactly what I needed. Oh, my gosh. Perfect. Could make some diamond armor, but I'm gonna make... Okay, did I get any books? I just when I got books. Jeez, this is really need to fix my storage system. Oh yeah, we did get some books. Okay. And we have, uh, obsidian. So, we can actually make an enchanting table. Wow. Should I? Yeah, I'll make one. Also, epic. First diamond pickaxe of the world. Let's go. I'm just gonna get diamond armor from the villagers when I get them set up, so I'm not really gonna do that. Alright, gonna get some water so we can go get some obsidian and then we can make our nether portal. So, I went down to the lava pool we found yesterday and began and blocking this lava waterfall so we don't burn alive whilst harvesting 15 metric tons of obsidian with a hard stick. All right, now time to start the infuriating process of collecting all this obsidian. So I spent the next four minutes hacking away at obsidian, truly the most fun part of this game. Ah, Jesus, freaked me out the frick? That's not real. Okay, we did it. Let's go. Basically, for the nether portal raft, I want to do a turtle. Basically, the idea is like turtles, they float. And I have like an ancient turtle. Nether portal's on the turtle. I think that's pretty cool. I can even have the turtle head because there's some coral blocks that are green that I can use for the turtle head and it will look pretty cool, I think. Yeah, at the rate that I'm getting distracted, I might not even finish this mob farm before the 100 days is up. Alright, we now have enough cobblestone to go back to work on the build or on the whatever thing. So I headed back up to the mob farm and finally began working on it. Seriously, why did that take me so long? So build the chute right here. Bro, I didn't bring water. I'm so stupid. I built the unaliving chamber and then began building the ankle breaking chute. Alright, I think it's 21 blocks up. I don't know. Last time I had a problem with them dying an impact. The water channels, I believe, can be slabs because nothing's going to spawn on them. So. so I continued working on the water channels. Bro, auto jump is on. What the frick? Disgusting. And then I ran out of cobblestone. Bro. Uh, I think that's water. I think we're good to jump down. Let's go grab some more cobble gobble schmobble. We. So I headed down to the mines to gobble some cobble. And then I immediately found this mine shaft. Oh, what? Okay, I guess mobs just don't want to spawn. Fine with me. All right, I just need cobblestone. I don't know why I'm exploring this. Then I whacked the goofy gobble bone for the rest of day 25. 15, let's go. And we've officially survived a quarter of the challenge. And we've honestly not made a satisfactory amount of progress so far. So I continued extracting concretion from the below ground on day 26. Bro, why are there so many? Do not need this many. Whatever. And I did that for the majority of day 26. Then I had a slightly close call. Bro, oh my god. It's one of them. Get away. Ah! Oh gosh. Get the heck out of here, boy. Ah! No! Oops. Okay, I 
think I've gotten enough cobble. Time to go make the mob farm. I probably need more, to be honest, but whatever. And then when I emerged from my sweaty, unpaid shift in the mines, the sky was purple for some what reason. What the heck is this? Don't tell me I broke the shaders. So yeah, I had to spend the rest of the day in real life fixing this issue with the sky. But I did manage to fix it, and we were ready to start on the mob yeah, farm. Yeah, the sky, the sky was just broken just now, and I just spent like, I don't know, a matter of hours fixing it, and I don't even know if it's gonna come back or not. But anyways, it's working now, so I guess let's go get started on the mob farm. So, like I said, I began chopping down trees. And right, I could finally finish the circle around this. And use the wood to finish the outline for the farm rack. Alright, uh, I think that's about right. Let's just get to work on the dang thing. <laughs> this abomination. Let's just finish this thing. So I climbed up to the mob farm. Alright, we made it to the top after 15 minutes. Oh, I love that. I love that. Freaking sharks falling from the sky. It's amazing. I began day 27 by pillaring up to the birthing platform and continued working on the water channels. Oh my god, dude. Is that where the freaking bone meal came from? Just fishes spawning from the sky? Once I finished that, I began filling in the 8x8 spawning platforms in each quadrant of the farm. Oh, I, I love that. Still raining fish. Then I moved on to putting in the walls for the farm, so our subjects can't escape their fate. But I didn't have enough to finish or work on the roof, so I began putting the water into the water channels. And then put in all these trap doors, cause mobs are sussy bakas and don't know that they aren't full blocks. Okay, I managed to, uh, still not have enough cobblestone to finish this. Guess I'm gonna go back down to the mines. Got everything done except for the walls and the ceiling. I'm gonna light it up up here just in case it turns nighttime because I don't really want anything spawning. So I worked my way back down to the base. Bro, what the frick? Stop falling from the sky. And hit the mines to gobble more cobble. Alright, I'm just gonna mine like a 3x3 three three tunnel just to get cobblestone because I don't need anything else. And I absolutely dismantled cobblestone for the rest of the day and managed to almost fill up my inventory. Okay, that's like a full inventory, so hopefully that's enough. So I went back up to the mob farm to finish it on the morning of day 28. Whoa, that looks cool. All right, I'm gonna build up over here now because it's gonna make it easier to get out of the farm when I'm done. And then I went back to working on the farm. I finished the walls. Dude, there's fish. There's fish. Why is there fish in there? What the heck? They just spawn in any water. And began putting in the roof so our subjects never know the light of day. You know the deal. Oh my god. Stop. Jeez. And I managed to finally finish the farm. All that was left now is to light up the roof and break out the torches Still inside. fish down here for some reason, but it's whatever. All right, there we go. Should be done. It's closed, right? Yeah, okay. All right, it uh, should be working. Question mark? Oh, it is. Oh, it is working. Oh, yeah, it's actually working pretty well. Yeah, bones, nice. Perfect. No spiders, bruh. I want some spiders. But at least it works, and now we have some bones, so we can bone mill our trees and get to build in the base a little bit more. Baby zombie? Bro, come on, can some spiders? spawn jeez oh, also arrows though oh nope. oh gosh he lights up that'd be really bad if he blew up oh a spider okay so spiders do spawn they just take a little second to fall down here. basically i need spider eyes to craft the uh <laughs> skeleton horses I need two of them but good thing that spiders do actually spawn some fish nice all right i'm gonna go ahead and just leave because i got enough bones i left our extremely profitable mob farm on the morning of day 29 to begin working on building our raft city and then began harvesting wood i want to start work on the nether portal raft which is going to be a giant ancient turtle and for that i'm gonna need a ton of spruce logs all right so i made some giga spruce trees it it works it, it definitely works and it turned all of this into puzzle nice oh it turned that into puzzle too now we can collect a bunch of spruce wood all at once and then began the process of chopping the entire thing down and i was watching danny gonzalez while doing this so i didn't really commentate that much but i turned all the logs into six-sided logs all right uh probably that one tree was enough to build what i'm thinking and then bridged out from the main rat right looks good and then this is just where the back of the turtle will start then I began working on the turtle shell. Now, I'm just gonna do this. I'm not gonna look at any kind of circle generator or anything. Yeah, fortunately, this entire thing needs to be built out of actual logs. Look at that freaking flying demon in the water. Oh no. Benny boy fell in the water. There we go. That's probably good enough. And I already ran out. Nice. And yeah, I already ran out of wood. So I bone milled two more giga spruce trees. Mm, new axe. That is all and went back to chopping. And I chopped for the rest of the day and into the night. And yes, I was still watching Danny Gonzalez. Hey, on the last block, of course. So I continued building the turtles back on the beginning of day 30, and I managed to finish. Okay, so basically, this is like the turtle shell, is at least what I'm going for. But my idea is to kind of strip out some like pattern type things so that it looks like it has those like hexagonal thingies that a turtle usually has. So let me see what I can do. Yeah, I don't really know. 
down. What, what does that look like? Ah, uh, I don't know. It looks like a, like a turtle, kinda. Now, the biggest problem is gonna be how do I do his head? I wanted to do green, but I'm gonna need silk touch. So I'm gonna need an enchantment setup before I do that. When I get silk touch, I can get like green coral blocks and I can use the green coral blocks to do that. I'm gonna also bring this just down another block. I really had to run out with one remaining. You're joking. You can't actually really tell because of the reflection of the water, but it looks a little bit. I do want to go ahead and put in the portal. Go ahead and pop this thing down. Oh, I love lag spikes. This is the best. Boom. All right, what does it look like? <laughs> Not as cool as I thought it would look like, that's for sure, but it looks cool enough. Okay, shush. I get some leaves. Bone mill. Okay. Just absorb this thing. I'm try and add a little bit, I don't know, some like mossed foliage type stuff. I mean, he is pretty old. I imagine this turtle with no face. I imagine he's pretty stinky and old. Uh, I think that looks a bit better. Yeah, it's an old portal and an old turtle. Oh, whoa, that's epic. I was like, what is that? That's so cool. It's the light from the portal. Or maybe it's the sun shining through portal yeah, i mean i th think that looks kind of right kind of like people actually walk on this turtle's back up into the portal over and over again for a long time it would probably make a little area that's beaten down With the first month of the challenge completed let's go ahead and check out our nether spawn oh Nice. Not good, but not bad. I mean, I don't even know how much we're even gonna do in the nether, but we can grab some cores, I guess. But we have the nether, okay? Alright, so we got the nether portal thing at least started. Alright, so I believe it is now time to work on the next build, which is going to be a ship. And the ship is going to contain these villagers. It's gonna be a villager trading hall, basically. Um, and once we get the villager trading hall, we can actually get armor, and then we can actually go and take on some of those fancy ships. The first thing that we need to do is actually craft something a little bit special hmm what is that is that a bamboo okay please don't get mad at me there's literally no way for me to get bamboo other than doing that they don't generate in chests and there's no land that is the only way for me to get bamboo bamboo bone meal the bamboo and whack it yummy bone meal the bamboo and whack it and then plant bone meal and then whack it. yummy all right, that's how you get bamboo kids. Now, I believe with this bamboo, we can craft bamboo planks. Look at that. Yes, I know this is a thing at 1.20, but we're in uh, 1.16, so. Yeah, this is bamboo. Okay, bamboo's real, uh, get over it. Okay, so for the other thing, you actually need sugar cane, which is funny, because I actually found sugar cane. Okay, there's my two sugar cane. Maybe I'll just place it over here, yeah. All right, grow strong, you two. I think the ship will look best in spruce, so I'm gonna go ahead and begin farming a ton of spruce. I also need to get our house soon, so we can actually have some organization in this nation. Oh geez, that's a tall one. Oh, my gosh. What? What the heck? So I began chopping down giga spruce trees for the rest of the day and into the night of day 31. Okay, that's honestly probably enough. I cut down like two of the giant spruce trees. So I built a bridge out from the main raft. I will replace this eventually with an actual road. Also, I forgot to build it one up like an idiot. Dang it. So I rebuilt it a half block higher. All right, time to start building. So I began building the slave transportation system. I mean, the villager trading hall. I started with a little frame to get an idea of the general shape of the ship. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then started building these walls up and out from the frame. And I wanted the crest of the ship to be made out of oak wood, so I harvested some oak wood and began work on the crest. Bro! But once I was satisfied with the height of the walls, I began putting in the floor of the ship. Ching chong. Time to add the floor. And I continued putting in the floor on the beginning of day 33. All right, so I got the bottom half of the ship done, and I think it looks all right. The back half needs to be raised up, and then I think I can put in the floor, and that'll probably be good. That's how pirate ships look. This back part is always raised up. How could I forget? So I began raising up the back of the ship. All right, now I need fences. What the frick? It's another one of those whatever that is. Bruh. Then I began adding in the floor of the deck, making sure it was raised up towards the back of the ship. Alright, so basically the villagers are gonna be in this area. The ship is actually kind of big. I don't know if that's too big. Uh, I think it looks fine. I'm gonna add some more details and hopefully that makes everything look better. If anything, this back looks kind of weird. A little bit of detailing. Wait, this isn't even even. What the heck? And yeah, currently everything is just spruce so I also kind of need to fix that. Oh, and I need to light this up. Alright, so I'm gonna finish the floor of the top and then I'm gonna worry about all the decoration and stuff later. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting in this floor. Alright, I want to place some fences of 
course, you gotta have defenses on the pirate ship. I think. I think you have to do that. That's required by Minecraft law. Frick. And now I need fences down here. But maybe, <laughs> maybe not everything should be spruce. Maybe I should actually get some oak. So I'm gonna farm some more oak. Also gonna harvest this bamboo because we're gonna need a lot of bamboo for my house. Honestly, I feel like that tip doesn't go out. Uh, I'll do a little bit more. Yeah, I also need some ladders in here. Not gonna lie. Noise. All right. Also, I think this should like go up. Uh. That looks like shit. That looks terrible. What the heck? Okay. Uh, I don't know. That, look, that looks like a pelican or something. I don't- That doesn't look right. Nope. Huh? What the heck? Where did my axe go? Bro, where'd my axe go? Seriously, what the heck? Where's my axe? Uh, bro, my axe was in my inventory the whole time. Am I stupid or something? Then I placed in these fences on the crest for the rest of the day. Alright, I'm gonna add some, like, windows. Oh, frick. Oops. Alright, looks good. Now it's time to add the masts, which I'm just gonna do, uh, where did my logs go? Did I run a spruce logs? Might have ran out. Oh, I have some. Alright, I'm gonna need more, though. Out of bone meal. Okay, I gotta go back up to the farm. Get some more bone meal. Okay, I believe if you do that, you get the breed thatch, <laughs> which sounds like grass. What do you pick this up with? A shovel? An axe? An axe. What the heck? Right. Right, let's go get some bones. Make some chests to put all this loot in. Actually, this is the first chest of the world. That's kind of funny, actually. Only been using barrels up to this point. Oh, spider. Why did the spiders die? You'd think they'd be climbing or something. Come on, spider. Get down here. Bro, I hear the spider. Oh, wait. I got one. Here, I got a spider. I need those. Ow, I just got a hit. Stop that. If some spiders could just fall down, I could uh, get my second spider. I got a witch. <laughs> oh, and a spider. Dang it. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the heck? Too fast for me to react. Oh, come. I will smack the spider the second it falls down here. Oh, my God. Ow. Somehow the spiders are hitting me. Oh, my God. That was a, a zombie villager. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't kill him. Oh, I just killed him. Oops. Dude, I have all so many arrows now. At least 50 spiders have died and, and none have dropped a... Okay. Come on. I hear you, spiders. Just fall down here. Oh, come on. Come on. Bro. <laughs> Drop on another eye. When have I ever wanted a spider eye? I don't know. My sword has had a break. Oh my god, another one. Yes, I got two. Oh yeah, we're out of here. All right, now to craft a skeleton horse, it's very simple. All you do is you take five string, put them like that, you get a cobweb. Make some bone meal and then turn the bone meal into bone blocks. Put the cobweb in the middle, two bone blocks and some legs for it and some spider eyes and then you get a skeleton horse spawn egg. <laughs> Okay, I hope it doesn't, like, run away. I have a lead somewhere. Also, guys, this definitely works in... Thank you for interrupting me. This definitely works in vanilla Minecraft. This is 100... All those crafting recipes I just did, uh, except for the bone block, they're all in vanilla Minecraft. It's, I promise you, okay? So don't comment anything about this. This is, like, fake. Oh, my gosh. Come on. This is vanilla. This is not modded. If you think that, I don't, I don't even know what to tell you. Or where do we put him? We'll, we'll put his fence right here. All right. Don't attack me. Hey, buddy. Oh, can ride? I don't need to, like, tame him. Is he already tamed? He he's not hurting me. Hey, buddy. All I've ever done is unalive things. But I can't kill you. Because you're already dead. It makes me angry. Just want to end your stupid skeleton face. But so you're already dead. Shut up, you stupid horse. I'll deal with you later. Alright, uh, let's go to bed. Have any rotten flesh? Oh, 39. Nice. Okay, so also another vanilla feature, guys, that, that definitely is a thing in the vanilla game is you can smelt rotten flesh into leather, guys. Yep, this works in real life, real Minecraft, I promise. This is a thing. Don't question it, alright? Leather. Okay, stop. Don't get mad at me. There's literally no way for us to get leather other than this. It doesn't spawn in chests. Like, shut up. Okay, you disgusting Mr. Bones. That's your name, Mr. Bones. That's a, that's a creative and innovative name that I just created. Well, yeah, I mean, I did just create it. It's just not that creative. I mean, it is. It's beautiful. There's literally no way for me to get leather. I don't even think I can get cows to spawn because you can't get grass. But yeah, this is also going to allow us to get books and make an enchantment setup. But we're going to go ahead and do that a little later. For now, the reason we want this leather is a couple reasons. The first reason is... Yep, guys, another completely vanilla. This is a... This is a real thing. Stop questioning. How much it. iron do you need to make an anvil? Is 45 enough? Not sure about that. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We got our first anvil. Where we place this? Right there. Should I do it, Mr. Bones? It's kind of lame. No, wait. I have a perfect name. Yeah, Bonehead. Stupid Bonehead. <laughs> what a freaking idiot, dude. Everyone laugh at Bonehead in the comments. There's also another thing that I want to craft real quick. Again, completely vanilla. This is real. You can do this in Minecraft, okay, guys? Now we can ride Mr. Bonehead. Oh, he's kind of slow, dude. What the frick? Wait a minute. 
anyways, the reason I wanted to do this is because well, I don't want to go in the water because then I don't know how I'm gonna get him back up. But he can he can go in the water. Okay, just just trust me. He can go in the water and he can run underwater. So once we get a scuba helmet, basically we can ride Mr. Bonehead on the ocean floor to the ships so that we can conquer them, or we can just leave him here. Stupid bonehead face, idiot. Well, anyways, that was just a slight detour. Now it's time to get back to work on our ship. So, oh yeah, actual reason we went up there was to get some more spruce wood. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Or maybe I won't. Maybe spruce wood is just impossible to get. Why won't that one grow? Bro, can you shut up, Mr. Bonehead? I will literally unalive you if you keep talking. There we go. Let's mine this sucker. This is me mining. Look at me. I'm so fast. Now let's go ahead and build some masts on our beautiful ship. Also, I want to make this entrance look a little cleaner. Uh, I'm gonna add a door, but for now that uh, it looks better. Okay, shush. Don't even, don't even talk. Dude, shut up, Mr. Bonehead. Why do I keep saying Mr.? Your name is just Bonehead. You're a Bonehead. Maybe this guy needs a name too. Mr. Unemployed. I want to make trap doors, but I think I want to make oak. Where is the freaking oak saplings? Bruh. There it is. Finally. Also, yeah, I can harvest these bamboo wood. You never appreciate that the moon literally goes through phases. Like, that's a new moon. It's crazy. You would never think that Minecraft would have that much attention to detail, but they do. It's pretty cool, though, that we could just ride this guy around our base. Where can I? Can I ride him in here? Oh, take damage when I walk through that. Ow. <laughs> can I mine trees? Can't mine anything. Oh, oh I can mine. It's just way slower. <laughs> nice. You make everything worse, bonehead. Bro, can things stop falling from the actual sky? I can do four by four oak trees. That'd be nice. All right, yeah. That's probably enough just want to make some trap doors so no you idiot i made s <laughs> i made slab dang it you make trap doors like that great four trap doors let's do this again so basically what i'm trying to do is in most of the ships they have like an area in the center Wait, is this actually the center does this boat even have a center yeah it's not it's not even centered this is so unsatisfying i didn't even realize that but you know we're just gonna go ahead and ignore it don't even uh don't even bring that up again uh because then i'll have to do actual work to fix it and i don't like doing that so right. so you just place the trap doors like this and like this and then there you go pretty much what i was looking for and yeah, it does not line up in the center, and I'm not going to fix it, because I just want to infuriate you. Maybe the ship is just slightly slanted this way, and that was this was intentional, because it's actually just slightly slanted to the right. That's why uh, that's why it's not centered. Okay. Um, I think I'll just line it up like this, because it'll just look like it's right, even though it's not. So let's go ahead and add some doors. Just put them here. Now, the only thing I have to do to make it so that the villagers can't escape, make some spruce trap doors, and all I got to do is place them right here. Now I can exit and enter, but they will not be able to. I also don't think they can climb ladders. Place in some ladders. All right, now you can get up and down. Let's just build one right here. Uh, how am I gonna get down? I'll just place some water. That way I can actually build this up. I think slightly taller, like two blocks. Yeah, perfect. I like that. Let's just see how that looks. And uh, yeah, it looks like Christ was reborn. So I think that's what we're going for. I'm just gonna add two masts. So I guess I'll make this one 12 blocks high. Well, I did it. I'm cool guy. Oh, but these need to be. Uh, let's do this one stripped and see what it looks I like. I think stripped kind of always looks better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and strip it. The other one's gonna break before I get to the bottom. Bruh. Of course. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Other than the fact that I'm gonna add sails to that at some point. Alright, we're also now gonna go ahead and quickly head back to that other villager that we abandoned. Take a nice look at our beautiful base. Wow, the ship is blocking everything. Really. Hopefully he didn't despawn. That would be pretty sad. Yo, let's go. The villager is here. Stuck on his raft. I come to save you today. Get in the boat. Nice. That was easy. Now we head back home. Alright, and now we can actually start on the villager breeder. Right, so now I gotta get him out of the boat and hope they don't just run off into the middle of nowhere. Just do this. Nope. I hit him. Great. Great. Now I'm gonna have freaked up prices. There's jobs over here. Why don't you want the jobs? You wanna get up? Yeah, you do. Good job. This other guy doesn't. Actually, I can just box you in. Come on. You can do it. Good job. No. Nope. You wanna go back in the- What do you wanna be? A fish? You wanna be a fish? You are human. Or maybe you're not. I don't know. Yeah, good job. Good job. You're so smart. Now, now I got some villagers. And we're gonna use all the wool that we got. We're gonna make a bunch of beds. I think that's good for now. Uh, these aren't full. Yeah, they're not full blocks. Okay, I'll put them along the, the edges here so they don't look insane. They still look insane. Oh, look, they're actually coming in here nice. Now you're both trapped in here forever. Yay. I think I should be able to. Oh, actually, I'll just harvest everything because everything looks like it's growing. Everything up. just grows up so fast. Aw. 
Now I should be able to just give these guys a bunch of carrots. Give them all the potatoes, give them all the carrots, and they should start doing the deed eventually, because there's a lot of beds and they have food. But while we wait for that, we'll go ahead and start work on our house, which is going to be in this direction. We're going to turn all of this into bamboo planks. Bada bing, bada boom. We got bamboo planks for days. And then the accent that I want to use on this is perch. Okay, so now we have infinite bamboo planks, which I imagine you can make slabs with as well. Also, I want one of these guys... Are they doing the, have they done the deed yet? Shouldn't they be doing the deed? I want one of them to be a farmer. So I'm just going to go ahead and plop some composters in here. I need some of you guys to become farmers. So give up on being, being whatever you are. All right. So first the bridge out to the house. So I built out the bridge to the third raft island thing. Also, I was planning on having a cool replay mod shot of me building the house. But replay mod decided to not work for the next hour of footage. So just imagine this looks cool. Okay. So I wanted to, I want this to just look like another raft. And I decided on a birch and bamboo block palette for the raft and house I wanted. Yeah, that looks right. And strip all this. I mean, the house can just be raised up from the raft, but this kind of makes it look a little bit more like an actual raft. All right, nice. So I worked on the raft for the rest of day 40. I just want to do a tiny little kind of like Japanese style house with like the curved roof is what I'm planning on doing. And managed to finish on the morning of day 41. I need more birch. <laughs> One bone meal. Bruh. This footage is not sped up. This is how fast I can mine. I am superhuman. Um... Yeah. Now we got enough birch. This color is a little bit uh, funky, but you know, it's fine. Now I'm also thinking that I kind of want some stripped oak for the pillars of the house. I'm gonna go ahead and just farm some oak. Yep. Then I just harvested wood for the rest of the day. Again, this footage is not sped up. This is just how fast I am. If you're not this fast, then you're doing something wrong. Just get better at Minecraft. All right, it is now time to work on our epic raft house. No, that's not what I want. I'm gonna have to break the floor and then it's not gonna place right. Oh, how wonderful. So we place some pillars in. Basically what I'm trying to say is that I want this house to be like one of those Japanese style houses kind of with a roof like curves. You know what I'm talking about? Put a picture on the screen. Except it's out of bamboo wood. Okay, so we'll make these, I don't know, like four blocks tall. And don't worry, we're gonna strip them, I guess, for the beams. We'll go ahead and do birch. I just want a little bit of variation in color. And now we can build the walls. Is that gonna be too small? It's gonna be too small, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know about that. I think I'm gonna scoot everything back a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to redo those. Nice, I love that. I'll have to redo all of this, actually. Really just the funnest thing of all. What was that? What are you? Stop existing. Does it just give you one slab when you break a full block? I see one slab whenever I break these. I'm breaking a full block. What a ripoff, dude. Alright, so when you do this, I mean, is this big enough of a space? Eh, sure. Alright, time for actual bamboo blocks. Well, that's not right. <laughs> I do want a window here, so... And I continued putting in the walls for the rest of the day. It's looking like a thing so far. It's looking like it exists. That is definitely a good thing. Alright, I don't know how much glass I have to put glass in here, but we'll go we'll go ahead and see. Alright, sand, sand. Oh, there's some sand. Cook you up. Alright, let's see if they have babies now. Bro, they got no babies? How? Oh my god. Okay. Carrots, do you need more food? Take the dang food. Boom, 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 boom. What a beautiful bamboo house. All right, now it's time to work on the roof. I don't really want everything to look all samey, but at the same time, I wanted to use the bamboo wood for the roof. I think that'll look good. I think if I do like edges of sp with spruce and then kind of fill everything in. I'm also gonna replace this with glass eventually. Uh, eventually. Keyword eventually. Oh no, I just forgot to, <laughs> okay. forgot to do all the beams. Lego placing sound effect dot mp3. Right, how does that look? Yeah, that looks, that looks good. Now we just gotta build a little uh, curvature. And I was on that pro block game builder grind set for the rest of day 43. Alright, I actually like that. That's almost exactly what I'm going for. I think that's about it. That's our house. I think it needs a little bit more on the top, but I think I know what to do. Yeah, it looks kind of weird. I'll fix it tomorrow. I do think it looks good. It just looks a little awkward on the top. Maybe that would look good. I think that looks even worse. Yeah, that, that looks like it has wings, dude. What, what am I thinking? Hmm. I think that's the best we're gonna get. How does it look from an angle? Yeah, that looks good. I like that. That's a nice looking house, I think. Looks good enough, all right? Jeez. All right, now it's time to get some... Let's make a bunch of chests. And let's start dumping all of our stuff into a bunch of chests. We have a... Oh, God. Ow, what the heck? That's scary. Scared me, uh, stupid flying fish or whatever the frick those are. Okay, um, maybe I'll add something like that so it looks like a, like a shelf or something. This kind of looks like SpongeBob's house or something. I don't, I don't know. Why. We also need a door, and we're gonna need to use bam. 
bamboo door, of course. That's fine, fine with me. That makes it look like kind of like a front porch. And I say I could just raise the floor up until I run out of bamboo wood, though. Now it's not fine. Whack a bamboo. It's starting to look like a little like a village or something around here. Wow, look at look at us. Yeah, all right. Now let's start moving everything in. Let's just dump our inventory. Boom, boom. So satisfying. This is not sped up. I'm the fastest Minecraft player alive. Get it through your head. I was thinking that we were going to put our enchantment set up in here, but I don't think we're going to have enough space. You literally, literally, how could you still be a fisher? There's no barrels left. How could you possibly be a fisherman? At least one of them decided, and he has a potato tray. That's nice. But I kind of need you guys to breed. I literally gave you, I gave you everything you need to breed. Why are you not breeding? Give them more food. That's what they require. Really a freaking Nemo up there, dude. Oh, he's finally a farmer now, but I don't care. I still need you to make a baby. Alright, I don't know what else to do. Alright, we're officially done with our original base. And then my bed. My bed should go. It's not really a great place for it to go. I'll just put my bed right there, alright? Alright, it looks unsatisfying, but that's fine. I want to put lanterns everywhere, but I do not have enough iron. I have one iron. Oh, wait, I have 34 iron nuggets. And I can make a bunch of I can make five lanterns. Wow. Now I can put these. I can put these places. There should be lanterns lighting this area up instead of torches lanterns look better have these people made children oh my god yes oh, wait they don't they don't like each other they keep trying and getting frustrated and like it's not working do i need to get more villagers i think they might need to have sunlight well there's your sunlight i don't think they need sunlight i, I feel like i've seen people do it without sunlight that doesn't make any sense but, i mean i'll leave those holes there and maybe they'll maybe they'll get it going all right our first night in the beautiful humble abode they're really trying to breathe give them proper for that they're, re they're really trying bro they hate each other why well, okay one of them i want to be an armorer which i think needs I think, I think you need iron to make a smithing table all right i'm gonna need to go mining and get some more iron because i don't have enough iron yeah i definitely need some iron let's go mining and then i mine for basically the rest of the day iron iron diamonds holy poop nice dang eight diamonds what is the lantern wave bruh wow bruh it's metal stop but there's iron in the ceiling how could i not have mined this all right well we got some iron and my pickaxe is about to implode so i think we'll head back up to the surface all right y'all let's smelt our profits why did i say y'all that's lame you guys make a child yet you freaking didn't are you kidding me? wanted to make a smithing table because i think toolsmith i mean that's kind of the same thing but that makes me remember that i actually do need multiple villagers i'm gonna have to go out again and get another villager okay so an armorer actually needs a the fast furnaces whatever they're called blast furnace blast furnace now you're an armorer okay cool i think it doesn't matter what he is as long as he has like low enough trades because you just want to buy stuff from him so that you level him up i don't actually know if we're gonna be able to finish that in this 100 days but we'll see all right we also have nine diamonds probably just gonna make tools with these because ideally our armorer will be able to sell us diamond armor that's kind of the goal eventually and my diamond pickaxe is about to break so first thing we're gonna make is a diamond axe yeah that makes sense as well as a diamond sword diamond pickaxe actually yeah that's enough to make all of the diamond tools cool full set of diamond tools let's go all right so we're pretty far along in our base we got our house going we got our nether portal turtle and we got our ship and we got our crop circle thing pretty much nothing is done other than like the house but next i want to extend the middle circle out so I'll probably start it here and just make another circle around but for that i'm gonna need a ton of oak wood because i want to do like the stripped oak logs around the circle i think that's gonna look good i might want to replace all this wood with like sand because i kind of want this to be like an aquarium type deal so i'm gonna need a bunch of sand and a bunch of bro can you shut up you bonehead but first i want to mine some trees all i got is one stack of bone meal all right i guess we'll see how far that gets us i'm gonna want to expand the sugarcane farm because we're just really not getting any sugarcane right now all right so i'll just make kind of half of this sugarcane all right that's probably enough. So I chopped down some trees. All right. Uh, I think we got enough to go ahead and get started. And then began putting in the outline for the new center raft with six-sided oak logs. And just ignore the fact that my house doesn't exist and there's pigs swimming in the water. I accidentally corrupted the replay mod file. So. And I continued placing in the circle on the beginning of day 49 until I ran out of wood. But when I went to farm more wood, I realized I was out of bone Still meat. Still got four bone meat. <laughs> Me. So I went back up to the mob farm to get more. All right, time to grind. And then I grinded at the mob farm for the rest of the day. Oh, man, where's the skeletons? Come on, skeletons. I know you want to fall down here. There you go. Good job, and you don't drop any bones. All right, we'll call that enough for now. All right, bye, Geronimo. All right, and we are officially 50 days into the challenge. 
and it's still raining fish. It's day 50, and we're officially halfway through the challenge. And we've made a lot of progress so far, but there's still a whole lot left to do, including taking on five enemy ships. Oh, pretty much all of them grew anyways. I began day 50 by farming more wood. All right, that's probably enough to finish the circle. Eh, maybe not, we'll see. And then went back to placing in the main raft outline. Bro, I'm so close. We need one more. So I chopped down another tree and placed in the last block. All right, uh, I finished the outline, and I think it looks pretty all right, but I do want it to be stripped, so I'm gonna go ahead and strip the whole thing. No one can strip logs as fast as me. Let's go. All right, now it's time to place the dirt in. I don't know how much dirt I have. Though. A stack. See how far that gets us. But I ran out of dirt, so I went back down to the mines to grab some dirt. I think there's some dirt patches down here. I don't, I don't know, but there better be. And I mined dirt for pretty much the rest of the day. I think that's enough dirt. And then I went back to placing in dirt on the beginning of day 51 and managed to finish. And I wanted to do birch logs for the inner circle of the tree ring, so I began bone milling and chopping down birch trees. Alright, I'm gonna do the inner circle as birch, and I think I'm just gonna keep it one wide. I mean, I don't really see a reason it needs to be more than that, so let's go ahead and place this Alright, well, we're gonna need more bone meal already so let's go back up to the mob farm why is there so many creepers oh my god chain meal cool and then i grinded at the mob farm for the rest of the day Aww. and i continued grinding at the mob farm for bones on the beginning of day 52 until i felt like i had gotten enough yes skeletons yes it's raining skeletons all right i think uh, i have enough for a little while okay now we can farm some birds and then i went back to sewing and slicing trees until I had gotten enough wood to finish the inner outline. I was thinking that I could do something along these lines for the for that or whatever. Hopefully this is enough birch to finish this. I don't know if it will be, but let's see. Okay, looks like we do have enough. Epic. Then I went back and stripped all the birch logs. And I needed more oak for the path designs I wanted to do, so I went back to sewing and slicing shrubs for the rest of the day. Any babies? I see no freaking babies. How did you get- he got out! Ah. I actually think I might want to just make these spruce because usually stripped logs look better. So I'm just going to switch these out to stripped spruce, actually. I ran out of spruce. So I made a big spruce tree. Big tree. Let's go. And mined the whole thing down. And there we go. That looks better. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and plant some trees and bamboo along this circle. So I put in the trees and bamboo saplings into the tree ring. And now all that's left to do is to wait until everything grows up. Okay, but unfortunately, it's pretty much impossible for us to get grass so my beautiful vision of this being grassy area is probably not gonna happen but i do want to put sand up here i want to kind of replace this with sand i'm gonna need to collect a bunch of sand which i found out an easier way to do that all you gotta do hop down into the depth put a door down and then i can just mine from here and it's super easy so i'll just do this until i have a decent bit of sand and when i'm done i can just mine the block that the door is on i automatically pick up the door and then I just swim around, collect all my sand, and then go somewhere else. I'm dying. And do it again. I'm gonna go ahead and do this for a little bit. So I continued mining sand for the rest of the day. And I continued mining sand on the morning of day 54. Oh, I'm inside. I'm <laughs> phasing through the door. What the heck? And once I felt like I had enough, I began preparing to add in the sand. All right, but yeah, I'm just gonna replace all, at least all the lower portion with sand. I'll turn all this cobblestone into slabs that I can put under the sand so that it won't fall. So I began removing all of these oak slabs so I can replace them with sand. Oh no, I'm gonna have to move Mr. Bones. Mr. Bonehead. We're gonna have to move over here, buddy. All right, placing the cobblestone now. Then I began placing in all the cobblestone slabs. All right, let's put some sand in. Epic. And finally, I began placing in the sand. And I began day 55 by finishing placing in all of the sand. All right, yeah, I actually think the sand makes it... Okay, I forgot one. I actually think the sand makes it look a lot better, so unfortunately, <laughs> you can see the cobblestone on the edge. Ew. I'm gonna have to fix that later. For now, just just ignore it, okay? Just ignore it. You can't see the cobblestone, alright? Our trees are also growing up. That's cool. Yeah, this base is starting to actually come together. How cool. One more thing I wanted to experiment with. Wires, chains, and if we get some fences, I believe, yep, connectable chains, except the texture is broken. But it, it does have, it actually has a bounding box. That's so funny. Is it just broken, like, all around, or is it just the shaders? I think I think it is actually just the shaders because it looks fine, but uh, honestly, it looks kind of weird. <laughs> I thought it would look cooler. Okay, so that kind of messes with my plan. I need to figure out what to do about this. I want this all to be connected. I don't know if I should use more glass. I should probably use more glass. I don't know. I think I want to replace all this wood with sandstone. And then I'll see what to do after that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I broke out all the old oak slabs and replaced them with sandstone slabs. Okay, and yeah, that actually looks way... That actually looks really good. Uh, 
I like that. I think I might just try and put glass in between here because I kind of like the water look, but I don't want to be worried about like falling in there. So, and I'm out of sand. So I guess I'm going to go back to sand collecting. So I collected sand for basically the rest of the day. I had some iron down there that I'm too lazy to mine, even though I need it. And I continued collecting sand on the beginning of day 55 and also began smelting. It. Oh, that's cool. So a little, little air pocket. I also began adding these spruce fences to the paths leading to the outer rafts. And then I finally began placing in the glass. And it would have been cool if I had a replay mod shot for this, but I don't. Because replay mod broke again. So I don't. Well, it's cool. I don't know why I ex have expected them not to place on glass. Out of glass. This is so sad. Alright, yeah, I'm liking this. Still need more glass, though. Okay, there we go. And now we don't have to worry about falling down into the water when we're in here. Shut up, bonehead. But I would like to add a little bit more leaves. So... Where's my shears? Oh, also... I don't have enough... I don't have enough bones. I don't have enough bones? What the heck, man? Bones? Bruh. Yo, an enderman? Okay. I don't think he can get me if I'm under here, right? Oh, where'd he go? What? Oh, he's right there. I didn't get anything. It's like the first enderman I've seen this whole playthrough. More leaves. Let's go. All right. I think I have to add a little more leafage. Almost all the trees have grown now, though. So that's cool. Bro, shut up, you bonehead. Guys, you get it. It's a joke. All right. I'll, I'll put some fences up on each one of these. That looks good. All right. I'm also going to make a bunch of lanterns now that we have iron just put these here lanterns make everything look so much better okay how did you get out there what the and how how are you getting up here bro what you're completely stupid okay you, you got back up okay you didn't need my help but i don't understand how you got out in the first place well that's annoying i don't even know how to fix that maybe i'll just leave these down for now oh that's not right i want to bone mill these stubborn saplings though or maybe they just won't ever grow because there's a bamboo right next to them yeah that was, that was the problem. Okay, so the next thing is the actual pathways to these uh, outside buildings. And then also I want to do another outer layer of pathways in between each of these out here. Just to make the base look a little bit more complete. And for those outer pathways, I was going to use bamboo, but... I honestly think that this bamboo color looks a little bit i don't know like bad it just doesn't look that good not not gonna lie thinking maybe birch or oak or I wish there was like a new wood that looks similar to oak that wasn't oak because i feel like using oak is just like too plain now means that i need to switch this whole thing out but i don't know what with maybe maybe bamboo okay that doesn't look too bad actually yeah that looks tropical that looks cool I'll, I'll switch these out to bamboo sorry for hating on your bamboo i'm gonna go ahead and actually continue all these paths I do have spruce logs It'd be cool if i could have them curve up because like over here it goes up a block yeah, yeah that'd be cool if it went up i don't know if i should do it through here but it does kind of look better yeah i'll have it go up a block how about that i need more spruce wood though yeah let's Let's go get some more spruce. So I chopped down a giant spruce tree. All right, I think that's enough spruce. Bring them up. Probably make a fence gate for this uh, at some point. Spruce gate. Epic. So I spent the morning of day 59 replacing the oak in these paths with off-brand bamboo and adding in the stripped spruce log and spruce fence railings. Okay, I uh, shut up, bonehead. I just took a look at the base in replay mod to kind of get a look at everything, and I think I came up with a bit of a plan. Basically, another thing that we're gonna need is an enchantment setup. So what I wanna do is basically destroy this entire farm thing we got going on here and move the whole circle over here and then i want to have a section over here it's going to be like a little gazebo and it's going to have our enchantment set up in it and so this path doesn't have to change i think it'll just come through here and then you'll just go one way or the other and then i'm also thinking of other things i can add like some smaller ships over there or over there to make it look a little cooler when i add the turtle head i'm gonna add it on this side i think but i think i'm gonna go ahead and basically just destroy <laughs> this whole area uh, i'm gonna a new axe my axe is about to implode i have enough iron to make an axe wait i think there was some iron on the ocean floor i think somewhere down on the ocean floor down here there is some iron that i found yeah, right here Let me just grab some of this oh oh buddy no that's not good what are you doing no one of them just died how did they die what? no wait 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 no Come on, let me up. Let me up. Oh, how do you guys keep getting out? You're kidding me. You're joking. Now I gotta get two more. Oh my god, you're joking. How did they even get out? The other guy, I don't even know where he went. Stop, you're gonna drown yourself. Get on the dang bamboo platform. L l l so they... Right, now he's gonna start drowning. Yeah, get... Do not fall... 
You're literally joking, dude. I wanna, I wanna hit you. Get up. Yep, there we go. Good job. Yeah, yeah, nice. You're so smart. I thought it was safe. I guess maybe you guys can climb ladders. I don't know. I, I imagine they're climbing the ladders and getting out. He, did he get back in? He got back in. Tomorrow. I don't even know how to get him back. He just ran right back to the ocean. Oh my. Bro, I got had plans today. I got things I needed to do, and now I gotta deal with this. Oh, he lost his job. Good job. Realizing you're worthless. How about I just make you enter here? Stop being stupid. Yeah, there we go. Good job, buddy. You're so smart. Just kidding. You're not. Okay. That was annoying. And we lost a villager. All right, well, whatever. I'm assuming that somehow he was able to climb up these ladders or something. All right. Well, hopefully he doesn't die. And then I'll just have to find another dang villager at some point. I got just enough to make another a new axe. My plan is to destroy this whole thing pretty much and rebuild it. In order to do that, I'm going to need a bunch of wood. So let me go gather up like all the wood I have. Okay, so this is all the wood I have. So I'm just going to farm a bunch of wood for a little bit and then i chopped down trees for basically the rest of the day all right so i ran out of bone mill so i'm actually just gonna mine all the trees that we planted in the circle and then just replant them because hey it'll be fine so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i began day 61 by vandalizing all of our shrubbery stop trying to leave bro i think we have enough wood for now so i'm gonna go ahead and destroy this whole freaking island let's get to it and then i began destroying the farm raft oh yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do about this being here, but I have to figure that out, I guess. No idea how this axe hasn't broken yet. And with my axe on the brink of implosion, I somehow managed to finish without breaking it. Bro, it's gonna, it's gonna break right before I finish or something. No, somehow I managed to do all of that. That's cool. Oh my god, I've missed one block. Well, there we go. It's gone. Right, I'm definitely gonna need a new axe soon. Axe. Perfect. First, I think I'll probably build out the bamboo path, just because it's gonna make this a little bit easier. I'm just gonna do a straight path all the way down. Light it up. I'm thinking that this is gonna switch. And it's gonna be birch logs and i'm thinking that i'll just kind of do this and then i'll do this and then i'll do this and then this. so that looks good then i'll have the two pathways going either way I roughly want it to start like here like the corner of the circle should be like right here roughly i think the oak is probably a good contrast to the birch that i just did anyone needs circles built i've built about a trillion circles so i'm pretty much an expert at it so hit me up and yep first try let's go All right, and there we have a slightly larger circle and then we're gonna fill this whole thing up with dirt basically this is the path to it <laughs> i mean you want the path to continue but i'd like for it to be like birch path and then kind of i want it to kinda sway i want it to be like an organic path type thing right and then we can place in all the dirt all right there we go i think it looks like a thing for sure so we also need to go ahead and put in the water also, half of this needs to be non-tilt, and then this half will be uh, sugarcane. I'll make the sugarcane farm a little bit less big and also look better a little later on. But right now, we need to prioritize efficiency, because I am going to want to actually get a max enchantment set up. Other than that, though, we plant our potatoes. I'll just do potatoes. There's really no reason to do carrots. And this will just be trees. I imagine we're going to want the... Okay, we're going to want to fall off. That's what exactly what we're going to want to do. We're going to want to do it exactly the same. And I think for the raft for this one, I want like a spruce outlines so i need to get more spruce wood so i need to get more bone meal so i need to go up to the bone meal farm so i went up to the mob farm and broke my back whacking tall grass really old people and australian spiders with my diamond sword until i felt like i had enough bones all right i got 40 bone meal i believe that's enough Wee. so now i can farm a giant spruce tree another thing i want to do though two more skeleton horse spawn eggs bro i lost my jellyfish where did my jellyfish go i guess i know if I just fish, it'll fish up a jellyfish. Oh, it's not a jellyfish. Oh, I guess the fish mod just actually works now. Okay. I'm one of these guys. I mean, they're not hostile, so stay there, buddy. You, you can just roam free. That's cool. All right. Then we got three. We got the gang. We got the trio of skeleton horses. <laughs> now it's time to... Oh, yeah. It's time to farm a massive spruce tree. That's what it's time to do. So I chopped down a gigantosaurus tree rex. Haha. <laughs> that's pretty funny and silly, right, guys? It's a good joke. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not gonna lie. I just got distracted watching YouTube, but, but we got enough spruce wood now, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Start working on the gazebo or whatever the heck. And I want this to be... I want it to be like a thing. I want it to look like a thing. I want it to be like a rounded square, if that makes any sense. Alright, strip all this. Alright, yeah. This is gonna be kind of a darker themed raft. I might do some stone bricks for this, actually. And for that, I'm gonna need to smelt a bunch of cobblestone. Alright, so I'm thinking I'm gonna do a spruce interior. And then I can do that. 
that. It'll add like a nice color contrast, I think. Well, actually, now that I think about it, it's gonna have to be all off-centered and weird, but that's fine. All right, and then I also, yeah, want my enchantment table. Make a bunch of books. All right, well, anyway, let's see how many bookshelves. Six. All right, there you go, 10 bookshelves. That's as much as I can make right now. So this is gonna be up a block. So that's actually a full block. All right, so yeah, there's no like middle block, unfortunately. You're gonna have to put it like right there and then build the bookshelves around it right here okay well that's all i have right now so i'll start with that actually let's see what i can get i need, I need silk touch is the big thing that i need but i'll go ahead and build up with this looks good i do want to sprinkle in some other types of stone bricks and stuff all right so i'm gonna add these in so like these corners because i think that looks kind of cool and add some texture and then i'll just sprinkle in a couple racked bricks i think that makes stuff look a little bit better yeah just add some texture and variation and i think that looks pretty good probably gonna do a pretty similar thing for the gazebo roof i'm just gonna do mostly spruce i need a parkour up there oh frick and i'll just kind of slowly subtly raise the roof up eh, yeah looks good i think if i like bring that down some it'll look better maybe yeah still kind of looks like a mushroom or something doesn't look as like ancient as i want but it definitely does look better when you bring it down like that well, it definitely looks like a thing for sure i have some lanterns that can kind of make it look better probably bada bing bada boom so i'm definitely gonna need some more iron because i want to add more lanterns than that but now i think that looks pretty good i feel like those pillars need some texture but i don't know what to do about that maybe if i that does improve it a little bit i think that looks good i feel like those pillars just need some texture okay of course it breaks i'm just, I'm just gonna make a stone one all right don't hate on me bro what is that kind of like a gradient <laughs> i don't know man <laughs> it looks interesting that's for sure i actually kind of like that i don't know why but i do actually kind of like that i think it makes it look a little smoother i don't know let me know what you think in the comments below with that that's pretty much what i wanted to do i made the farm a little bit bigger over here and made a little enchantment setup all right i'm gonna move like our anvil and stuff over here right there and yeah i think that looks pretty good actually yeah for now i think that's the best that this can look it might look weird that it's off center but i think it actually looks right fine. now though i want to add a little like dock i just kind of think it'll look cool and i kind of got the feeling that i need to extend this just a little bit so i'm just gonna extend the house one block on each side and I was thinking of having a little dock. Like, just a place to put my boat. Maybe do something like this. Oh, I got just enough. Nice. <laughs> so, something like this. Kind of bland looking, not gonna lie. I guess I can just do something like this. But then I'd want to do bamboo wood for this. It's gonna be a pain in the butt to mine with this. But I'm just gonna go ahead and... Oh my god, I love that. I love that. Do that again, please. Alright, let's try oak. You just plop your boat down. Bada bing, bada boom. And that's pretty much it. You get in your boat. Have a fun little time. And you could even even have like a little stepper upper right here it looks like a dock that's for sure okay so i think i uh i lied i, I don't want it i don't like this i'm gonna delete it because i also remembered that i need to build the like path between everything and this is gonna be right in the way so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this and i'm actually gonna go ahead and go mining real quick because i don't have any iron and i kind of need iron for like things so so i headed to the below ground and absolutely whacked concretion for the rest of the day ah stupid <laughs> Yeah. Alright, I think I got enough iron. So now I can actually start work on the outer ring. Well, after I break this. Alright. I want it to look like a raft. I basically, I need to come up with a uh, block palette for this thing. I want a path going on a, another outer ring of paths going to each of them just so I have like kind of a shorter way to get there and also just so that the base kind of looks more like complete and stuff. Also, actually, I can harvest this. <coughs> I do kind of like how the bamboo wood looks. Just gonna try out a couple different things. Could look like that. That looks good. I think I can rule out this because this is way too bright. I like th these two. I mean, obviously, that looks good. I think I'll probably just start with the oak outline and then kind of decide from there because I think I do want oak as the... All right, this is all I have. Uh, I'm not gonna have enough, but I'll go ahead and start. Right, yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to get way more oak wood. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Bro, shut up. How'd you get in here? I'm gonna go chop down a bunch of trees. Be right back. So I slapped logs with my axe for the rest of the day. Bruh, stop! Bro, get out of the way. <laughs> it's funny, right? The funny number.
Laugh now. I honestly don't even know if that's gonna be enough, but I'm just gonna hope it is and start doing it because I ran out of bone meal. So, something I could do to save some wood and also make this look better is just cut off the edges. All right, yeah, that I mean kind of looks weird over here. If I were me, I would do something more like that. Honestly, I would I would actually destroy this whole thing and, uh, and rebuild it because that's uh, not far out enough. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Bro, moment. Well, at least I learned something. Am I right? Did I learn anything? Alright, that looks better. And then I spent the rest of day 69 placing in the oak log outlines for the outer bridges. Huh? Just hopping on the water. Alright, and we ran out of wood. We have no bone meal, so I'm gonna head up to the farm again and get some more bone meal. And then I spent the rest of the day becoming a level 50 boss at the mob farm. We're at level 50, let's go! Okay, we're at level 50 and we got 50 bones, so I think we'll go ahead and head out. Ooh, our base can I get from up there? Wow, beautiful. And my iron axe is about to implode. And now I gotta farm a bunch more oak wood. Let's go. This is gonna be my strategy. Place, bone meal, place, bone meal. All right, now I chop. Pretty epic strategy. And so I went back to chopping. All right, we got enough wood finally, so let's continue on this process. Sorry I'm not giving that much commentary, but I mean, it's kind of repetitive, so yeah, I'm just gonna get back to it. And then I went back to placing in the outlines for the outer bridges, and I did that for the rest of the day and managed to finish. All right, I think I'm gonna do birch, and I was stupid enough to collect like an insane amount of oak and like no birch. I don't know, I don't know why I did that. I got like no bone milly left. I don't want to go back up to the- Oh, I have plenty. Yeah, I got plenty. It's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and place all this in. Then I placed all the birch slabs into the outer bridge outlines. All right, I got the path done, so that's pretty cool. I think it looks good. I mean, I need a better way for it to connect here, and I also want to add fences, but I just don't know because I don't know if that's gonna look way too much, so I don't really know what to do. I feel like at some point I'm gonna have to do something about this because I wanted the head of the turtle to go here, and now it's kind of in the way. But I'm just thinking maybe I could just make him like permanently looking in that direction so that it's fine. But I think right here, I don't like this one it's a little too close and it doesn't even make any sense it's just going right into the ship and now the ship can't move it, i mean it can't move either way but so i want to just turn it into a little pier i want to have like a pier entrance coming out this way and then we can have our boats docked there and then this is like a big boat docked at that dock this side still goes into the butt of the ship but i think i'm just gonna make a little entrance here maybe i'll just actually do that later and not now yeah maybe i'm just a little bit too lazy to deal with that right now but anyway Anyways, let's light this up. Alright, also my plan was to build this uh, pathway and then go out and get another villager and find another ship to steal a bunch of wool from for this. Yeah, but unfortunately the villager died. I'm still gonna look for another villager, but like I either have to go out and find two more villagers or just deal with two like I already had. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Oh my god, fish on my ceiling. I'm trying to decide if it's gonna be easier to go find a ship with a bunch of wool and just get a ton of wool. Basically just go hunting for wool like you'd normally do in a minecraft world right, but before i do that i'm gonna go ahead and rebuild or delete that and then replace it with a dock and then i spent the rest of the day deleting this bridge and replacing it with a dock and i managed to not commentate uh, at all so Good job, Ben. All right, here's the, uh, the pier or whatever the frick this is. I don't even know. It doesn't even really connect cleanly, but and there's a little boat. And yeah, epic. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, actually, I should get some shears. Why is my actual horse in my house? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna head out this direction this time, and I'm just gonna try and find some ships. So let's go ahead and get on the road. Get on the, the water road. Buy a house that looks a lot better than it did last time. No ships. Oh. Okay, I didn't even bring my bow like a smart person. Bro, I literally can't do that. That is gonna just go ahead and keep going. Wait, that's a that's a villager. Hopefully, hopefully we're on another one because I don't really want to get that close. Oh, okay. That's one of those sh actual like shipwrecks, and there's multiple villagers. So that's cool. But I need some. Uh... Oh, wait, there's some wool actually. Okay, I'll take all this. Yeah, I'll take you as well. Oh, and there's a bunch of stuff. Grass. Seagrass. Lots of stuff. Bones. A campfire. Don't need that. That's supposed to be like the flames of this thing? Or is that like what they're doing to survive? Pretty dire situation. Sorry, I'm not gonna help you at all. It's buttons. Everyone knows that's what happens when you crash. Buttons spawn out of nowhere. Right, go ahead and get to collecting all this wool. I don't know how much I need. I mean, probably a couple stacks. Oh wait, this this has like, this is probably enough. This got like some in the water. I can't, I can't believe I didn't bring like another shears or something to make more shears because if my shears break. Oh, there's barrels in the water. Oh, that has leather. That's cool. Okay. Also, hay bales? I could actually get wheat, but I can't really get anything from the wheat. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I need that. Come on. 
Let me hit you. Oh, I didn't drop it. Oh, what the heck? I had the scuba helmet. I want to get a scuba helmet eventually. Oh God, there's another one, though. Ooh, this guy's got, like, a lot. Okay, come on, drop. I like how I just cannot... I can't hit him, and then I just one-hit him. He doesn't drop his stupid helmet. Okay, I got a stack in 30, so that's pretty good, actually. Um, I might keep going. I don't know. We'll see. These are just, like, the bonus chest loot tables. But I do need to get one of these guys in my boat. So would either of you like to get in here? Okay, all right, cool. That seems like once you get out here, they're, they're pretty common, actually. Go ahead and set up camp over here. Oh, there's another one of those. Okay, that's perfect. Wait, yeah. That is gonna be plenty of wool, I think. Wait. No, I'm so stupid. That was the one I was just at. I'm so stupid. Ow! Uh, bro, that scares me every time. I don't like that. Oh, I got another one. Great. And that one has TNT on it. What the heck? I want to see what's aboard that thing. Okay, there's mobs with TNT on their head. There's a blaze on there? Oh, that's not good. Oh, is it going to blow up? Just maybe want to steer away from that thing. It might just blow up any second. If I had like a flame bow, I could actually blow that up. would like an actual ship. Well, I mean, I'm finding the big ships, but the big ships that are just villagers. Wait, I actually got, I got two stacks now. That's pretty good. Okay, well, there's one, but there's no wool. But I will take whatever is in the loot chest. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. A looting two book. That's actually not that... Oh, sorry, buddy. Right, we're definitely gonna find one. Come on. I mean, I have a lot. You know, which is, I would like to get more than I think I need. And that might be the answer. Let's go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, there's two of them. But honestly, I think that is the witch one. I think when you get too close to that one, it's gonna explode and turn into witches. So I wanna show you guys that. It looks like... There's villagers there, and it's all fun. Yeah, see, it it blows up, and it turns into... That's the one I, I found before. There's also an illusioner. I think the iron golem turns into an illusioner, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but now we've definitely... We've already found more than five, so... But this is the other... This is the one we're actually looking for. Let's just start stealing this wool. Oh, yeah, there's also actual loot in here. Look at that, dude. That's scary. Uh, oh, and there's a spawner? That's not good. And that's pretty much all I needed. Um, hello? I'm stuck for some reason? Okay. Yeah, that was pretty much everything I needed to get. The only thing is, kind of suspicious that this guy... Is not gonna ever forget his trade. I mean, we kind of went pretty far away from his... What is that? Is that just a light ray? Oh, it's just another ship. How about that? But maybe, just maybe, he will still want to breed. If he does that, then he's not useless. Let's go. We arrived. Epic. Sailor. Come on, just get up there. Okay, I stopped commentating for some reason, but I managed to get the villager out of the water and into the villager trading hall. This guy lost his job. How? What? All right, uh, somehow this guy lost his job. Do you kind of mind, like, I don't know, finding this blast furnace again? Just kind of pathfind over there. Well, either way, how about you guys uh, make some children? Oh, and they're already doing it. Hopefully they make a baby, actually. We'll see if this is just eternally broken or if they actually... Nope, I guess it's just broken. Wait, wait no, no, it's not broken. Yes! Wait, yes! Let's go! Oh, wait, wait, wait. He can he can escape. Wait, wait. I did it! We did it! Let's go! They can actually breathe. Let's go. Okay, I want an armorer. I want a farmer. And then I want a toolsmith. So, uh, I really need to make sure they stay in there, because they keep getting out somehow. And I don't want to lose them again, because that would be not profitable. Please don't run out, you tiny little child. We want you to become a weaponsmith. Let me actually harvest all of these and give them more food, because if they can breed once, then they should be able to breed twice. I guess there's a chance that I just wasn't giving the other ones enough time, but you know, I refuse to believe that I did anything wrong, so. But I will also go ahead and get started on getting a uh, sale or whatever the freaking, because I got a bunch of wool and that was the whole point of that trip. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys more potatoes. Don't run out here, you just little devious brat. Nope, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. So I'll just go ahead and start work on the mass and hope that they start doing the deed again. To do some parkour to get up here. Yep, hearts. Things didn't work out this time, but you know, they, they did it once. They can do it again. Okay, so in most of the pictures I saw, the furl, I think it's called, usually starts up here. I might actually need some scaffolding for this. Yeah, scaffolding might be a good idea. But for now, we're chilling. Not another one yet? Are you freaking kidding me, guys? What are you doing down here? All right. That looks good. That looks kind of wacky. Right, let's take a look at that. Maybe a little too circular, but that looks so stupid. Okay, it needs to be higher higher up even though that doesn't make any sense for it to be higher up and like wider and basically like completely different than that because that looks pretty bad yeah i'm gonna have to redo that whole thing so yeah and then i spent the rest of day 78 breaking down the old cell and putting in the new one that was a yikes play nope stop 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 nope get out stop Jesus! Why have none of them gotten a job yet? Oh, wait, 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 he got one. Okay, so the child got one. I don't know how to, like, feed him, because he's probably about to die. Oh, wait, they're having a baby. Okay, they don't want to have a baby. Oh my god, that spawned an iron golem. The only thing is, those things kill you in, like, two hits. So I'm gonna accidentally hit him and, like, die immediately. Shut up. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Wait. 
What? Iron golem, I needed my bow. Where did you go? Did you fall off into the water? What the heck, okay. Bruh. So I went back to working on it. Bruh. That looks so bad. I don't <laughs> I don't know how to make it look better. It looks so flat. It looks so flat. I don't know how to fix it either. But nonetheless, I moved on to working on the second sail. I worked on improving my inept sail building skills for the rest of the day, and I continued working on the second sail on the beginning of day 80. Okay, it's a little too, like, rounded, kinda? I don't have much wool left. If I get less round at the top, it'll look a little bit better. Alright, see if that makes us look any better. We'll see about that. Okay, it looks a little better. Alright, uh, I mean it doesn't look amazing, but I think it kinda, I mean, it looks, looks right, it looks like a ship, and it's supposed to look like a ship, so I think it looks good. Alright, I, I think I'm happy enough with it. We might come back and fix it up a little bit more later, but for now I think that looks pretty good. But the next thing that I want to do is actually get like, silk touch. Oh wait, actually I kinda want flame on my bow. Okay, that was kinda bad, but I do want flame on my bow, so... I'm fine with that. Uh, but what I was trying to say is I need to actually get a bunch of my sugarcane and actually make this a max level enchantment setup because I think I have enough sugarcane now. So let me go do that. Make a bunch of books and then make a bunch of bookshelves. That's probably enough. I think that's more than enough. We'll just do it like that. And why not? We'll close it off like that too. Cool. And uh, of course, we can't get full level 30. Uh, why? Does it not count the ones on the top? Well, I don't have silk touch. All right, so I'll enchant my pickaxe with level 30. Smite, how wonderful. I'll take an efficiency four, just efficiency four, nice. Okay. Again, I want some silk touch up in this place. So I'm gonna need to actually enchant another pickaxe. Uh, I also don't really think we're gonna get diamond armor, so I'm probably just gonna enchant all my iron armor with some stuff. Oh, feather falling. Uh, yes, please. Projectile protection, thank you. Efficiency four, come on. No silk touch, that's actually better than my pickaxe nice aqua affinity but that just that doesn't really okay again can i get some silk oh let's go silk touch yes that's what i needed okay now i don't really care i'll probably just chant that i got some protection three that's nice just punch one all right well at least i can get punch two if i combine these together flame and punch two and punch is just knockback so that's not even cool that's that's 10 that's not worth it okay uh, i'm not gonna do that instead what i want to do is i have looting so i want to just add looting to my sword but Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna enchant another bow because I think I just want to get power or something cool on it. Unbreaking 2. Nice, okay. Then I guess I'll add Unbreaking 2 to my bow. Get looting on there. Alright, yeah, that's pretty much it. Maybe maybe I'll enchant this shovel. Efficiency 4 would be nice. Efficiency 2. I think that's enough to insta mine. Maybe I'll even enchant this axe. Why not? Okay, efficiency 2. Nice. Again, I don't really care. I just kind of want to get some enchantments because I can. I don't really have diamond stuff though, so I'm not gonna go through the effort of getting full level 30 enchantments. It's rare that you see enchanted iron armor but you know you like floating with that no, you're on a slab now that i got this silk touch it's time to head out and get a bunch of coral because oh well, because that's what i want to do right no because i need to put a bunch of coral down here and i gotta build the turtle's head oh wait that's right uh yeah so i actually remembered that you can't build coral outside of uh, water or whatever but i'm also pretty sure that there's no kelp in warm ocean biomes and this is a warm ocean only biome so even though we're just in the middle of the ocean i literally don't think i'm able to get enough kelp i was gonna just do dried kelp blocks so i might just build his head like under the water we'll see i don't know i'm gonna go ahead and grab my bow and just set sail literally just go into the abyss find the nearest coral well, there's coral right here but i'm not sure if it's the modded bro is that why my vi bro, there's literally just a villager floating in the that is so stupid how how are you here and why are you here and who are you well it's only you're one of my villagers and i'm catching you in the act right, well please get into my boat because i actually am in need of more villagers surprisingly thank you that's a cool looking fish okay well, i think this is yeah there's some green coral yeah, okay yeah so let me just oh that's actually pretty fast okay oh i also have aqua affinity that's why oh well, let's get to collecting this actually i should have brought a door that would have been smart let me actually make a crafting table and a bunch of wood place the wood right here and then make some doors Doors. How about that? I could just go down here, place a door, and mine all the coral in sight. Now nah, just mine the door. Go and collect all my coral profits. Oh, also some sea pickles. I'm gonna need those too. And there's an ocean room, but oh wait, this is an ocean room chest. That's kind of cool. Nothing but an empty map and rotten flesh. Nice. Actually, not nice. That's actually really stupid. The coral's like black. What the heck? No, stop that. Let's get some yellow coral. Honestly, it might be faster to just kind of do this instead of using that door. All right. I definitely don't have enough green coral to make. Ahead. Ah, green coral. Oh, here's some. Here's some ancient green coral. All right, I think I got enough 
coral, at least for now. I got quite a bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the base. Yep, there we go. Oh yeah, I forgot I have a villager. I kind of want to bring this guy over to the dock. Please just immediately get up. Okay. Please immediately stay up. All right, nice. I'm wondering if he's gonna pathfind immediately. Let's see if he is just one of our villagers. But he's not. What the schmuck? Is that like my old villager that I like heard die? I literally don't know where this guy came from. Why would you have just been in the middle of the ocean? Maybe they had a baby and I didn't see it, and, they, and then you like you like escaped. I I literally don't understand. But all right, I'll, I'll take see it. See this? Yeah, make it your job. Nice. And then I do a little trickery. I move it, and then you pathfind over to make your job. Oh, before you make your job, I'm gonna move it again. You're gonna path find over to oh wait no you're gonna be stupid become the, the toolsmith what are you doing okay nice now do that but in here so whenever it's over here you can't do it now go up there now block you off all right now you have nowhere to go but inside oh yeah you can't go well, now i actually have a wait what? He became a farmer. What an idiot. Okay. Alright, now let's see if I can build this. I mean, let's just see if these moss blocks work the same as the other ones. Yep, they die. That's so sad. Alright, well, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to build him under the water. You know, he's just he's just dipping his head in for a swim, alright? What can I say? Well, let's make the turtle's head. So I built the turtle head. Hey, look at that, guys. You get, he has two eyes. <laughs> he has a head. That is definitely a turtle if I ever saw one. Don't even comment and say that looks like terrible. Just don't. It looks great, and you're wrong, so. But yeah, next, I want to work on this aquarium in the middle. Well, it's not a quarter yet, but I want to just start by adding... Well, honestly, I need to raise the floor up. That's pretty low. How do I even get up here? Yeah, honestly, I'm going to raise the floor up first. Because that flow is way too low, bro. God, this is going to be a dangerous project to work on. I should be able to see the wood, but I, like, can't. So I began building a platform to put sand on out of cobblestone. Dude, there's my iron golem. He's sunk. Because he's iron. Iron golem's at the bottom of the sea, bro. That's freaking hilarious. Oh, right, well, that's pretty much the floor done. I need some doors. All right, now I need even more sand. How wonderful. Probably, I don't know, like a couple stacks or something. So let's get some of that. So I created an asteroid impact crater on the bottom of the ocean, collecting sand, and then placed it onto the cobblestone platform. And that took the rest of the day. Yeah, I'm gonna start on. That's so scary when I can't see the opening. All right, so I placed in the sand, and it's kind of short, but it's gonna have to do. I'm gonna place in some damn, I mean, some darn coral, sorry. Oh, poop. That looks weird. So, <laughs> these are gonna be two block tall things of coral. How wonderful. Boom. Bam. All right, now I'm gonna spam a bunch of sea pickles around here. All right, nice. All right, and I think it looks pretty good. I think later, if I have time, I'll come in and make it, maybe add some fish and make it like an actual like aquarium. But for now, that's how it's gonna stay. All right, so I'm pretty much gonna set out and try and conquer some of the ships, if not all of them, because we found some that are pretty close. So I think I'm just gonna set out. I got some decent enchantments. I got my my golden apple, my bow. I mean, I'm about as prepared as I will ever be. So yeah, I don't think there's really anything else I can bring that would help me. So I think I'm just gonna go. I think I'm gonna set out for another time. I have the co have the coordinates marked down, obviously. So oh yeah, I forgot about the horses. Oops, so I'll never do that. My bad. Okay, there we go. And they're definitely there. So the evoker is at the front. Well, it's actually getting nighttime, so I'm gonna actually go to bed first and then do this. So yeah, the biggest thing I'm worried about is the vexes being able to fly at me i think there's only one evoker i think that's him let me see if i can hit him from here oh i got him Plus, he'll just catch on fire and then just die but i literally just got my take aim oh there's a villager too wait there he is Yo, i got him oh that's hilarious so he dropped a totem probably he just fell into the water more of them oh they can't even shoot me they're just pointing at me yeah i would imagine there was only one of the evokers but you never know that was all of them kill that guy all right let me go get my i imagine he dropped the totem oh wait this is a, a scuba guy and someone's shooting at me who's shooting at me what the heck what i heard a guy shooting where is he oh he's in there he can't get me all right let me go get those uh, these guys where i like it's like harder to hit them now so i don't see the totem that's so annoying i didn't drop a scuba helmet bro there's still more of these idiots i got looting now i should get the dang helmet Ow. There's the totem right over here. Where are you, bro? Did I kill him? Yo, what is with these guys glitching out like that? All right, well, I was supposed to have a totem. It's so annoying. They're supposed to drop totems, right? I don't see a totem anywhere. Did the mod creator, like, modify them so they don't drop totems? That would have been really lame if he did that. I didn't bring an axe either. Wow, that's, that's really smart of me. We got some diamonds and actually a pretty good, oh, pretty good fishing rod. Some emeralds. Oh, right, yeah, well, that was pretty much it. Did I go in here? Oh, no, I didn't. Some water, a light, a skeleton head. I'll take that. What the? 
the frick? Epic. Oh, let's go ring in the bell of the conquered ship. All right, uh, I kind of completely forgot. I was gonna bring like a banner and like put a banner on here to signify that I like beat it. All right, well, I thought I was gonna get a totem and I didn't, so I'm mildly disappointed at that act. But to signify that I beat this, I'll go ahead and throw these disgusting banners off of the ship. Ew, gross. This is ours now. Let's see, what can I... We'll just make a little scuffed flag. Nice, look at our beautiful flag. Yep, now everyone will know that this is our ship, so that's pretty cool. Let's go save that villager now. Our fifth villager, I believe. Please hop into my boat. Oh, okay. Didn't take much convincing. Let's go ahead and just go to the next one. Okay, let's go. Also, I just want to note that I am playing jazz music right now, so probably epic music playing, but like, I'm just listening to jazz. I feel like you guys should know that. Alright, so this is the TNT ship, which literally has a blaze. It's shooting fireworks. Like, what the frick? Is that another evoker up there? I can't even tell. I'm just gonna try and shoot the TNT. Alright, yeah, let's just shoot the TNT and see if we can... Hopefully that blaze can see us. Oh, wait, there we go. Alright, let's run away. Oh, ho. <laughs> oh my god. It literally just blew up the whole ship. I think that killed everything on there. Still shooting fireworks. We won. Let's see if anything... There's still a spawner up there, though. Tell me that's a blaze spawner. That'll be really annoying. Oh my god, it's getting nighttime, too. Ew. Okay, I don't see anything, so... Oh, there's another TNT. I feel like I might as well blow that one up, too. Oh no, my golden apple. Oh, Alright, let me uh, maneuver over to this spawner and delete it. Alright, and yeah, I would call that ship pretty much conquered. We pretty much... Yeah, I'll admit this was kind of a freebie, but what can I say? I mean, I, I defeated the ship, right? Yeah. I don't even think I need to hang up my banner on this one. This is uh, pretty much conquered. What is this? It's a flame enchantment. How funny. Oh, that, that's a drown with a TNT head. Why is he so fast? And there's more. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave. Alright, that's two done. Alright, the next one is a ways away. Wait. Uh, actually, I might be lying because there's one right there. Okay. Is that the one we already did? No, that's, uh, that's a new one. I don't know how I missed that the first time. This is not one that I had marked down, but there's another freaking evoker in there. Okay, he's on the other side, so I'm gonna have to gonna swim around. I didn't expect to find one this soon. It looks like I can just shoot him. Oh, I got him. He throws his hands up. He can't do anything. Oh, did I get him again? Is he still alive? No, he's not. Bro, why, where are you even going? You realize I'm over here, right? Oh my god, he's still alive. Okay, wait. I'm gonna go away because I don't want him to spawn vexes. Oh, I got him. Get him. All right, I think that's probably it. Oh my god. Nope, I don't like that. All right. There's a TNT in there. That's not very fun. Break that real quick. There's a beehive in here. What the heck? Got some gold. Got some some rabbit hide. I'll take the beehive, though. Take the skeleton head in here. But yeah, I'll go ahead and take down their flag. Ring the bell. Succeeded. Let's build our little flag. That's my flag. I don't, I don't care. I was to check if he dropped a totem, and I don't think he did. How fun. They don't drop totems. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and head to the next okay, one. Okay, there's the thing. But it's about to be nighttime, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set up a little camp. This is pretty deep, actually. Alright, so these are one of the fancy ships. They look like they're a village. Like they got villagers. But when you get too close, like about here? I don't know how close you gotta get. Maybe it is just a normal ship. How close do you have to get? What? Turn into a sh witch. Not turning into a witch. Do they have actually just normal ships? Bro, what? Huh? Okay, well, I could have sworn that they all just turned into witch things right when you got here, but there's a Steve head in here. What the heck? Oh, that's freaking epic. Hopefully, I'm not gonna get, like, attacked and breaking this. All right, nice. Oh my god, it's like a jungle villager. It's epic. Dude, every noise is freaking me out. That was an iron block. That's nice. A scoot. I don't really need that at this point. I'll take the iron block. The only thing hostile here is the iron golem, so power up a little bit and just shoot this guy. Might take a little bit of hits. All right, and there we go. We just officially conquered conquered this ship. Let's break all their stupid banners. This is owned by me now. I know is my signature dark... Oh, I'll have his dark oak. My signature dark oak banner. Everyone knows this. There we go. Four to five ships con. Epic. Let's move on to the fifth one. All right, so this next one is the one that I'm kind of pretty worried about. Oh, that is, is that it over there, actually? Okay, yeah, that's it. This is the one that I'm worried about because this one has the illusioner mob, which, if you don't know, is an experimental mob that they have never added into the game, but is fully coded into the game. I hope there's only one illusioner, and I'm going to try to shoot him from a distance, but I don't see him, so I might need to go. Oh, I can see him from here. Let me see if I'm a sharp enough shot to hit him from here. Oh my god, I did that. <laughs> I just hit him twice. I mean, I kind of want to see some of his powers, but I also don't want to see some of his powers because I don't want to, like, die. He doing stuff? Honestly, can't tell, bro. I have to try a little harder. Alright, I think I killed him, honestly. Let me get these witches as well. Mies. Oh, well, they're gonna, like, take resistance potions and stuff. I mean, what do witches even do? Do they actually, like, attack? Splash potions of harming. Yeah, like, he's, he's trying. He's trying his best. Try to get me, you sucker. Jeez, he has a lot of health because he's throwing. Hang. Dude, you're resistant. 
resistant. How do you even kill witches? Why would the witch be harder than the freaking... Oh, I killed him. Okay, wait. Yeah. Try it, sucker. Bro, this is just not fair. Is he like the captain or something? Does he just have like infinite health? To be fair, I did knock him off his ship. He's probably... His ego is probably really hurt. Dude, I'm pretty convinced that this guy is just unbeatable. <laughs> Literally what? Yeah, I think this is kind of impossible. I shot like a hundred arrows at him. So I'll just keep shooting him. I don't know what to say. It's getting nighttime, bro. I gotta hop on your ship real quick. I hope there's nothing up. Oh, wait, there's silverfish spawners. Okay, so bro is just ever so slowly inching back towards his ship. I think I'm safe to just kind of hop over here. Alright, well, to be fair, I kicked him off his own ship. Oh, there's one. Oh, hopefully, I don't have like strength or something. I bet they do. I'm oh, like, not gonna find out. Oh my god, there's more. No. Oh god, there's no. Okay, broke that spawner. I honestly don't want to get hit by them because I bet they have like strength or something. I need more blocks. Nope, I'm falling. Okay. I'm just gonna escape for now get some blocks. I think that's a good idea I actually don't want to get too close to this guy because he can't actually throw stuff at me. Oh my god The, the, the witch just got in the boat. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. All right. Where's the silverfish? Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay. Ow, there's another one. Ow. The invisible? You evil creature. Oh, no, there's more. Oh, get out. Bye. Is there another spawner I gotta destroy? Yeah, there's the other silverfish. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Run away. Oh no, I got slowness. Okay. Don't get in the trap chest like an idiot. Ah, that's scared me sufficiently oh my god i gotta get back there though I'm fighting back let me fight this drown shouldn't have fought me you got one shot let me go back i'm not gonna be scared there's more there's definitely another spawn where's the other spawn i don't even see it oh it's right here okay broken let's go that's a trap chest don't open that one I'm honestly terrified okay mining fatigue invisibility There's actually some good loot on this one okay some night vision i'll take that a wither skeleton that's actually pretty valuable resistance nice i'll take that oh gas tier jeez this is some high tier loot levitation another impossible effect okay all right well so since that guy's invincible i'm just gonna let him keep that villager honestly i don't really care and since he's trapped there i really do this was the, yeah this was the scariest one because the witch is just they're just magic you know i think you can tell who's this is with from all this birch and yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna just to uh commemorate the occasion i'll go ahead and place a little tnt i'll go ahead and do a little bit of a little bit of wacky destruction blow up wow now that was epic and there we go we can watch the sunset on a beautiful day knowing that we've now conquered five ships we can finally head home knowing that we've conquered the ocean pretty much okay and we're home let's go yeah that took us like the whole day just to boat back here but we did it we accomplished like our biggest goal for this series the only thing left to do is pretty much just finish up the base you might be thinking there's nothing left to do what are you talking about ben well okay come on there's so much left that I could do all right jeez like there's a so, there's so many things I could do like like um like there's a lot like I could list at least a lot of things no, but seriously, there is still a bit I can do. I'm gonna first probably focus on this aquarium. You know, I was thinking if I had the time, I wanted to build a kind of raised up aquarium with a bunch of coral and fish inside. I got a bunch <laughs> of these skulls. If I put some heads here, boom, that's epic. Let's go ahead and put it in here. Put a skeleton head, wither skeleton skull. Boom, skeleton head, that's pretty cool. Actually. Like the 500 IQ specimen I am, I forgot to start recording on day 90, so I don't have any footage of it. Other than this replay mod recording I took at the end of the day. But I I spent day 90 collecting sand for the raised aquarium I want to build, and then put in the glass for the new aquarium. And I continued stripping the ocean floor of more natural resources on the beginning of day 91, and then I broke out the roof of the aquarium, because I wanted the aquarium to be taller. Alright, I'm gonna make it one block taller, at least. So I heightened the glass walls one block. Yeah, that's a good size. So I placed in the new roof. And boom. Alright, also gonna need to just hop in there and, you know, like make it actually full of water. So I began spamming the right and left mouse button while bobbing my head up and down until the aquarium was full of water. Bro, is it not full yet? Why doesn't it even look full at all? But there was a bunch of holes, so I tried to fill those in for the rest of the day. I'm trying my best, and I don't see much getting fixed. Wait, actually, I can just go through here. Nope, nope, I can't. Okay. But uh, maybe if I fill all those holes with coral, you won't even know. Let's go ahead and put this in, see if we can fix up our little mess. All right, well, now that also looks bad, so I'm just not gonna do that. Oh, wait, but if you break... Okay, so maybe all I need to do is fill up these stubborn little things basically just give them like a block update it looks like and then that should be good all right so we'll go ahead and put some fishies oh wait, actually i'm 
stupid. I want a bunch more glass because I need to go put glass on the underside. Give myself a little a little door to live in. <laughs> Jeez, man. That's kind of dangerous. Just lost half health almost. I don't really want to die just making this stupid aquarium. Yeah, I wish I had the scuba helmet about now. That'd be nice. So I spent the rest of day 92 drowning myself to put in the walls of the aquarium. I needed to replace the cobblestone I put in under the sand earlier with glass though. So on the morning of day 92, I removed the sand. And I just break all this cobblestone. Okay, don't fall down there then. Broke out the cobblestone, replaced it with glass, and then covered it back up with sand. Alright, now I'm pretty sure that anything I put in here will not be able to escape. Can you drop them in there? Okay, so those are the boring mobs. Let's go ahead and go get some cool mobs. Here's some Nemos. Wait, does it just turn into a bucket of cod? It just turns into a bucket of- I was thinking I was gonna be able to get the cool ones. Wait, wait maybe it actually does store it though. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, they're just cod. It just turns them into cod. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have an aquarium full of epic just cod. That is so cool and fun. I think maybe fishing allows you to get different buckets of different uh, fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and fish. Oh yeah, I forgot I got a cool fishing rod. So I fished for the rest of the day, but I didn't catch any buckets of fish, unfortunately. Alright, so I kind of want to make the turtle shell a little bit bigger, just because I feel like that island is a little bit small. It's a little bit lacking in the size department at the moment. So let's begin chopping some chops up with my axe. Yeah, good sentence. So I ransacked this village of trees and it was profitable enough to begin work on expanding the turtle so i started work on expanding the turtle shell well it's bigger now we're just gonna bring this thing back there, no need some leaves actually oh yeah also i could put some seagrass go ahead and add in some sea pickles leaf leaf all right, I need to switch out this for glass. But I don't really know how the best way to do that is. Well, actually, yeah, wait, because of the ladder, none of it will actually flow in. So this is actually going to be easy. Oh, nice. I did it. Actually, that's looking pretty cool. I like that. Oh, you can just hold shift on a ladder and, it, and you stay there. I did not know that. What the frick? You learn something new about Minecraft every day. Well, not really, but sometimes you do. Place ladders and boom, we did it. All right, well, yeah, that's it. Looks pretty good, I think. Get rid of this. Actually, let me go put this at the nether circle. Wither skeleton skull. Epic. That looks pretty cool. Add this here. And it kind of looks like a little bit better. Do the same thing over here. Now, it doesn't look as smooth, really, but, but I mean, there's no other way to really make it kind of merge perfectly. What if I just did this? What if I just did like little posts instead of like a fence and I just put lighting on? Huh? Like that, you know? That might look kind of good. And then like over here, I do like a little fence post. Kind of longer so that it's like an entrance or something. I don't know. It's kind of good, I think. I like that. Nice little design. Are the fish still in there? Are there any fish still? Okay, yeah. there's at least one. Is there like a hole? Are they escaping somehow? Is there a hole? Where would the hole be? So I feel kind of bad about that aquarium. It's kind of like I thought it'd be cooler. And then I went around the base, replacing all of our torches with lanterns on spruce fences. All right, I'm gonna go head out. I'm convinced that whatever fish I wasn't, I wasn't able to pick up was just that one time. I definitely gotta be able to pick up some actual fish. Let's just head out into this little coral reef and try and find some cool fish. I didn't even get my food. What am I? I'm so stupid. Okay, got a bucket of tropical fish. That's better. Grab some of these guys, I guess. Okay, that guy looks cool. Let me get him. He kills things. Does he kill me? Oh, I got him. Oh, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Where's it? These guys. These guys look cool. Let me yoink up one of you. Okay, it's just, just a normal tropical fish. So we, got, we got a little bit of a hull. Oh, there's more. That one's like a puffer fish. Wait, give me that puffer fish. Let's go. I did it. All right, go drop off our load of... Uh, that sounds bad, but let's drop off our massive load of cool fish. Wow, dude, what the frick? Pucker fish? Tropical fish? Oh, wait, they do keep it. Oh, let's go. Lionfish? Oh, got one. Clownfish? Another clownfish? And another blue tang. Let's go. All right, well, let's just keep filling it up. Well, let's head back out. Another lionfish. Come on. Yes, another lionfish. Let's go. Bucket of tropical fish. Nice. All right, I guess I'll just get more of these stupid pickles. All right, well, let's head back to the house for now. Get the cod out of the way. I mean, like, where are they going? Okay, I still see some in there. Do I just need, like, an insane amount of fish to even see any of them? I did get another lionfish, so. Got an emperor red snapper. That was all I got. I don't know what that was. Are they... 
Did they kill each other? Oh, is the lionfish killing? Did he just kill all of them? Wait, some of the fish are still there. Maybe they're all still there. I don't know. Nope, some, some fish definitely died. I think it was the lionfish. Okay, whatever, man. All right, so I want to go ahead and fix up the sugarcane farm next. Basically, I'm just going to destroy all of this and then kind of build just a normal, natural-looking pond. So I broke out this dirt and replaced it with stone and sand, along with raising up the water level to make it look like a pond. And then I added in the sugar cane. Stone, nope, not right there. That's bad. All right, and I think that looks pretty cool looking. Just a little cool little pond. Maybe I made like a couple stone buttons. Add some rocks around here. Yeah, look at that. It's a rocky area. Oh my gosh, be careful, guys. Don't step on the rocks. Uh, I might just replace all of this with farmland though, just because honestly, the mud is not the greatest to look. So I'm just going to replace all this and make it farmland. So I chopped down these trees and also mined out all of the pods and replaced it with dirt because you can't till pods. Then I tilled everything and added in the potatoes. Oh my god, one of my skeleton orders just fell down. One thing I wanted to do that I haven't done yet that I might as well do since we're on day 99 is, uh, is this. Oh. Look, it doesn't even work. Guys, look, I'm running in the ocean. This is epic, right? I mean, it's it's actually pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It would have been cool if I could have done this. But I'd drown on day 99. That'd be really funny. I did wait this long to show this off, though, because I don't know any way to get him back up to the base. Basically, skeleton horses can breathe underwater, so I was planning on using that a lot more, but I just didn't ever get a scuba helmet, so... Oh my god. You know, I would love for this to have just been trees. I'm gonna make half of this trees. I would love to, for it to be all trees, but like, there's no grass. And I, yeah, I think that'll look a little bit better. I'm also gonna place some bamboo. Bamboo just makes things look better, man. I don't know what to tell you. There's more foliage, equal better. This is just a true statement. It does suck that I didn't really get to figure out villagers and really do anything with villagers. I do have four villagers in here, but I never really traded with them or did anything with them because they just wanted to be difficult, so I just didn't do anything with them. I also also kind of just forgot that I was meaning to make this an entrance. I'll, I'll do that, okay? I'll do that right. I don't have enough, like, spruce wood to make that an entrance. And I don't, like, really care to go get enough, so. You know what? Frick that. I'm not doing that. I don't care. And it is officially day 100. Let's go. I'm actually pretty happy with everything. I feel like it's all pretty interconnected. I mean, obviously, things could look better, but got a nice ancient turtle here with no legs. Don't think about it too hard, all right? Epic nether portal that we never really used for anything. Aquarium. Epic aquarium and the lionfish murdered everything inside. Beautiful looking mine entrance. That's beautiful, right? Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize he would die that fast. My bad. Epic ship. I think it looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Obviously got the enchantment set up and the farm circle and the epic mob farm up there. And yeah, that's pretty much all that we got up to in these winter days. But I am pretty happy with how everything turned out. I like the little beachy center. But even though it's day 100, we still technically haven't survived 100 days. So I'm just gonna sort my chests in case I decide to do a 200 days. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do that all day. So I sorted the chests for the rest of the day. Alright, uh, I didn't really finish but got the valuables chest got the wood chest the food and organics and shovels and flint and steel chest but with that i've officially survived 100 days on a raft in minecraft hardcore and i'm really happy with the amount of progress we were able to make in these 100 days if you enjoyed this new style of 100 days video please consider leaving a like and if you'd like to see more videos like this please consider subscribing we just hit 10,000 subscribers and i'm trying to hit 100k by the end of the year so it would help me out a ton and if you want the world downloads for all my 100 days videos a shout out or you're just looking for another way to support me consider becoming a patron. It's $3 a month for the lowest tier, and there's 7 day free trials in case you change your mind. There'll be a link to my Patreon in the description. Thank you to Bed, Zachary W, and Leland Kelly for being patrons. You guys are truly the main characters. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.